nine in the city and I'm on my way back home humming on my favorite ditty swinging like Natalie Cole but then out of the blue who strolls down the boulevard but you your place is closer than mine Right here. 
but I'll just kick it over to, to Mike, who was our art director on this pack. He can probably give a little bit more insight onto the inspiration for uh, the sort of setting and world. breakfast fresh coffee and bagels too a new day is waiting for us we got lots of fun stuff to do let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys i can lend them your baseball cap let's make the day a bear and our fun growing up is just a trap don't it seem Growing up is just uh, a big so fat trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think of such a load of crap? Growing up is just a trail. Some might say that I'm a loner, but I just call it being free. Hello, we'll be quick. I'm sure they're not doing anything too exciting. They're looking at a chicken. Um, mini needs retreat. And then, and then we'll go to screen share and we'll just watch the live and then we can talk more after. I'll go ahead All right, and, uh, here you ooh, go. I like Kentucky. That's a, that's a perfect name. There you name. go, ma'am. Go ahead and name our research Kentucky here. You're working on so redacted. Are, are these, oh, um, fun. Hi, everybody. The, the I hope you're well. Um, here's the yeah, live so stream. The, uh, rollover text will show you all their needs. We will. Uh, take care of chickens and cows and mamas. You need Let me to crank it up so we can hear. And food and also oh. keep the coop clean. Uh, chickens will clean themselves. Hopefully and we didn't miss anything good. Keep the shed clean and you can clean your cows and mamas too. But... Uh, if those needs are met, your chickens are happy and their eggs will be higher quality and you can get special colored eggs or very special eggs that have different effects. I do, uh, so as you've seen in the trailer, uh, I feel like with this pack, we've tried to dial up the cuteness, uh, to a hundred with this pack. Uh, sorry, I'm getting all these, these achievements and screen slams here. Let's do, let's do our, uh, hug one more time here. Let's so adorable. Here. Very cute. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, this sim, uh, so Imran, he actually has one of the brand new traits. Uh, he has the animal enthusiast trait, which is one of two new traits that are coming with Cottage Living. The other one is lactose intolerant. What? Uh, but with the animal enthusiast trait, you'll actually get no! brand new interactions uh, uh. and the ability to actually play instruments for your animals uh, if you have, uh, you know, a violin or a guitar with you. Really? Um, so what are some other things uh, we could expect from chickens? You mentioned eggs. Uh, what kind of eggs do I don't want to live have? my lactose intolerant life in the sense. So sims? they're regular eggs, hatchable eggs, but uh, depending on if you feed it a special treat or if they're really happy, sometimes they'll lay special eggs. Uh, two special uh, treats that we have are the midnight treat and the golden treat, which for chickens will turn... The midnight treat will 
give obsidian oh. eggs and also turn your chicken into an evil chicken who unleashes all the evil inside of your feathered friends. Uh, the golden chickens, uh, the golden treat will turn your chicken into a golden chicken. You can also uh, hatch gold eggs from like really, really happy chickens. And, uh, let's try to give this uh, rooster a, a golden treat really quick and see what happens. Okay. Also, let's see if we can give this hen. They're cute. Go ahead and uh... let's actually let let's. There we go. Oh. So we have a uh, we have a golden rooster now. You know that? That's so shiny. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's call over this one. Maybe we can do the <laughs> uh, the midnight treat as well and show that off. For sure, uh, and you'll see it in the game changer stuff. But the chicken, golden chickens, and golden or evil chickens have some special interaction. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, but there are, not only are their appearance changes, but there is some gameplay. Um, and as Sarah mentioned, those the game changers will be diving far deeper into this content too. But oh I do my. want to show off this. <laughs> this is great. Uh, cool. So those are chickens. A quick look at them. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to are they like speed the animal racing pen. This and you may goodness. actually see me using some cheats here. Again, I, I want to show as much content as I can as quickly as possible. Uh, so I'll be doing some cheating uh, just to, to get to the content quickly. Um, one thing before we actually jump over, I did create a hatchable egg. Let's see. Um, I do want to show off that animation here. So you can see Imran's picking up this little egg. He's hatching a little chick. They only have an hour. Normally, these Look used to be two hours. Oh, he's just so happy. Back, Back in the day. Go ahead and run off. All right. Uh, so now, yeah, let's switch over to our animal pen here. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, build some here. Uh, so, can you tell us about the the animal animal shed? For sure. So, like we said, we can have a one cow or one llama, but you can have as many shins on a lot as you want. Um, both of them can give you resources like uh, chickens do. So you can. Uh, milk cows and share llama, uh, share llamas for wool. Uh, they need the same type of attention, so you've got to be nice to them and pay attention to them and make sure they're fed. And you can either hand feed them or uh, refill the feed on a shed. Um, uh, the one thing to note is kids can do a lot of the chores that the adults do. There's a few of them that uh, are probably a little dangerous for kids to take care of, but uh, for the most part, they can help uh, alongside their family. Uh, happier animals make better uh, products as well. Uh, in the trailer, you could see you can change the color of uh, animals. Cows have a rainbow color, but they don't change other colors. But llamas can be turned into a large variety, depending on what type of special treat you give. Uh, llamas also can scare away foxes and uh, protect your your. Uh, your crops and your animals so they can keep those wow. pests away which is super nice uh you can drink milk from, straight from the bottle or you can use it in recipes and we'll probably talk about that later wow. uh, wool is used to make animal clothing and decreases the cost of cross stitching and knitting if you have the nifty knitting there's there are some fun hidden interaction or there's a fun in, hidden interaction for you to find and i'm sure that the game changers probably have spotted it and it's one of my favorites um yeah so also if you interact with one animal and there's a bunch of animals nearby so if you have like eight chickens around each other succeeding in an interaction will give attention to all of them so you don't have to you can you know talk to multiple animals Way at once cow. um yeah, so cows, llamas, chickens all have a lifespan, but you can turn it off in the pack settings, which is super nice. We wanted to make sure that you could stay with your animal friends as long as you want. Uh, but if you don't turn that on, animals do die, and Grim will come give them a hug and take them to don't kill my greener animals. pastures on the other side. Yeah, uh, I, I did show a little bit while you were talking through all the sort of gameplay hooks and stuff for animals. I was showing off some of the animal interactions like milking and shearing. Um, but should we go in a little bit more depth on treats? Um, maybe maybe show some of the color changing options here? Yeah, for sure. So treats are a special type of object that you can make on the fridge from the, you can go to the fridge from your shed or your coop and different uh, treats will do different things to different animals. Um, some uh, treats you can make with different ingredients. Uh, some treats you unlock or through errands, which we'll talk about, or find them at the store. So as you can see, the llama's blue, 
and it's super cute. Uh, you can unlock the recipes. It's per sim, not per household. So uh, you can also learn it from oh straight from your inventory, goodness. or if you use it on an animal, it'll learn it. Look how cute. Yeah, these colors are very, very nice. Uh, some of them don't actually just change color, but there, there's some additional benefits too. So like the fishy yep. protein tree, uh, that one gives me plus one to my next harvest of wool or milk, uh, depending on which animal. Yeah, and if you have aging off, there's one to increase their lifespan or some that will help you make friends. It's like bribe to make them friends with you, but... So there's there's multiple types of treats. Llamas specifically Gino. have a lot of cosmetic effects, though. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, so we we did talk quite a bit about treats and ingredients, and there is with Cottage Living a lot of new um, sort of uh, ingredients overall with the pack. So one thing we actually wanted to do was we did a an Gino. overhaul to the notebook, um, and actually players that have uh, will that get the patch coming before the pack. We'll actually get this new UI, um, but specific to this pack is actually a brand new uh, cottage living tab. Whoa. And I'm actually going to kick it over to Graham, who is uh, one of the producers for this, to to talk about the the change here changes here. Hey Romeo, and good morning everybody. So yeah, uh, really the notebook is going to be your quick one stop shop to find out a lot of information about how the different things in cottage living kind of interplay with each other. So whether you're harvesting wool from your wow. llama, getting milk from your cow tending to your oversized crops, all those things kind of worked together in certain ways. And so just hop into the notebook as you discover them, and it'll provide information on how you get those, what they're used for, and what all the benefits of them are. So uh, definitely a good spot to check out. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so uh, one of our biggest uh, sort of changes with this pack, the, the thing that sort of uh, links all these systems together is actually our brand new lot traits and lot challenge system. So uh, one thing I do want to show off is I'll go ahead and enter build by really quick. On the top left here in the venue lot info panel, you can actually see uh, we've updated some UI here in this traits panel. So we still have our lot traits like you remember from, from uh, the previous iteration of this, uh, but now we've actually moved all of the lot traits that pose some sort of gameplay pushback into a new challenge section. And the cool thing about this, uh, whereas lot traits are still limited to three, uh, lot challenges, you can actually oh, have as many as you grid. want. And depending on the number of packs you have, uh, you'll see more and more challenges pop up here. So right now I'm only playing with base game and cottage living. So you can see our two brand new lot challenges, uh, wild foxes and simple living. Um, and the simple living lot challenge is specifically the thing that will require you to gather ingredients to cook. So your sims will, uh, rather than just making the cost cheaper like it normally does, uh, this actually puts a hard limit on being able to cook unless you have ingredients. Uh, so players looking for that, uh, you know, interesting gameplay around uh, harvesting your, your crops and gaining your milk and eggs from your chickens to cook, you know, your morning breakfast or afternoon uh, lunches and dinners. Um, you, I definitely recommend playing with this on. Uh, you also see here too, uh, so one of my favorite ways to play is actually turning on all three of these. I think Off the Grid and Simple Living work really well together uh, to provide a lot of interesting challenges as well as unique benefits and rewards if you're able to play successfully uh, in those ways. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, jump back into live mode and show this off a little bit. So I have my mom here, Rami. Uh, she's built up some cooking skill. Uh, and I will show off some uh, some group cooking as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, click on the fridge here, and we'll go ahead and um, let's go ahead and cook together with. So I have uh, our our daughter here that we'll go ahead and make a meal with. So well, you can also see some of our new recipes that we've added for this pack. So we free. have uh, Yorkshire pudding. Uh, we also <laughs> brought in some uh, milk bread as well, as well. well. so free. you can actually make bread or an ingredient. So if you some ingredients will require you to have bread, so in order to do that you'll have to make the bread as an ingredient. Uh, we also have cheese. So for example, cheese. if you wanted to make macaroni and cheese, you would need flour and cheese to, to pull that off. So some of these ingredients are actually recipes that you'll have to make, uh, which is a, an interesting little gameplay loop there. But I'm going to go ahead and make uh, Beef Wellington, which is one of our new recipes. Jeez. And depending on the number of counters, uh, so you can have up to five sims uh, cook together, uh, and they'll all build a relationship, and depending on the number of counters and space you have, uh, sims will run the cooking animations. 
But if you don't have enough counters, they'll still stand around. You'll build a relationship with those Sims. Um, and you can sort of tell that story. My favorite thing about cooking together is it allows Sims to sort of wait oh my um, and hang out uh, and not try to cook their own meals while, you know, the mom is cooking the meal for the family. Uh, so while they're cooking up that meal, I'm going to go ahead and pan over to Rashida, who is uh, our sort of cross-stitch expert here. And I'm going to go ahead and let uh, Sarah talk to you cross-stitching a little bit. Yay! Cross-stitching is my favorite. So you can uh, cross-stitch straight from the kit, or you can purchase a hoop elsewhere and cross-stitch. There are three different sizes, uh, small, medium, and large. Uh, you don't have to have the kit in your inventory to do so. Uh, it's a minor scale, so there's only five levels, but there are a large amount of patterns. Uh, you unlock some by skills, or sometimes uh, you can get them from errands or various places in the world. Uh, if you have the right color of wool, it'll decrease the cost like we talked uh, talked about before, but your children can cross stitch too. Wow. So yeah, there's lots of fun patterns. So try to find them all. I do want to mention too, uh, similar to painting, uh, we yeah. actually, if you, depending on your skill level, we actually added the ability to stitch from reference. Uh, so you can actually take a picture in the world, and you'll be able to stitch that pattern uh, that you saw, similar to how painting works. It's really cool, especially when you're trying to, you know, cross-stitch your animals, or really fun situations you can do. They made food yeah. together! Uh, so it looks like uh, we just wrapped up that beef wellington here. Uh, it looks like she actually put it in... She's going to go ahead and put it in the picnic basket here, she on the table. She put it in her inventory, don't um, I'm going to go ahead and show off some of the new canning as well, so... Uh, another new thing we added to this pack is canning, uh, which is actually tied to the cooking skill. Um, and when you can, uh, it'll also require specific ingredients. So Meat this works substitute. with the simple living uh, lot challenge as well. So you can see we've added a ton of canning recipes. Uh, you'll be able to purchase these two from the grocery store if you don't want to, you know, can them yourself. Um, so let's go ahead and make uh, some tomato sauce. I think that's a that'll probably be a good pairing. For wow, uh, beef wow, wow, right? Wow, wow. You you pour tomato sauce on beef Wellington? That's not really a thing. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, have her do this really quick. Just uh, gonna go ahead and uh, chop up some tomatoes, some onions. Wow. Mix it up. And then we've added uh, to some of our new canning recipes. We've added new animations, but not all of them. Some of them you just pour directly into the can. But tomato sauce here, for example, you'll actually bring back to the stove uh, and heat it up on a pot. It'll take a little time. Gordon and Ramsay then uh, she'll scream. go ahead and um, put the jar in her inventory. And we can go ahead and uh, drag it into the picnic basket. So I think that's enough uh, sort of hanging out in the lot, showing you some of these co new cooking gameplay no, show me more. Uh, flows. Let's go ahead and drag this picnic basket into the mom's inventory. And we're going to go ahead and head out to the Bramblewood and have a little picnic. So this is your first look at the world map here. Uh, so you can see we have three neighborhoods. The Bramblewood, like Mike mentioned, is sort of your uh, in the woods, very overgrown um, aesthetic. It also has this beautiful waterfall. This is Cordelia Falls. Cordelia! Uh, and then we have Old New Hempford is currently where we were, sort of your large lots, rolling hills. You can see where my sins are living right now is our large 64 by 64 lot. Uh, and then lastly, we have fin the Finchwick Village. Uh, this is where you'll have the Finchwick Fair Princess held, Cordelia. and the Gnome's Arm Pub is at. Uh, so you can come down here. Uh, this is where a lot of the, the village locals like to hang out, and we'll, we'll head over there a little bit later. Let's go ahead and uh, head to the Isle of Volp, uh, which is the, the, um, the forest in the Bramblewood. And I'll go ahead and bring mom and dad with me, and we'll set up for a little picnic, and maybe uh, catch some critter sightings and interact with some of them while we're here. So the picnic wow. is very easy. So I put it in my uh, Sims inventory. We can go ahead and set up this picnic basket. Why did together. they put picnic basket uh, as lowercase? I can lower go case? ahead and drag this picnic basket out. Sims, you're getting lazy. Let's, uh, let's bring that back out. So I can bring it out, and then all I have to do is click on it, and I can. Uh oh, did I pack it? Oh, I didn't pack it. There we go. Let's do that. There we go. And we can set up a picnic. And oh. basically, the sim will swipe. They'll set everything out uh, on the table. And then your sauce. sims can go ahead and grab servings and uh, enjoy their meal out in the lovely Bramblewood. Um, but before it gets dark and the animals start to go hide on us, 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scout around and see if I can find uh, some rabbits and maybe some birds we can play with. And to to help me talk through that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kick it over to Graham. Hey everybody, I'm back. A bunny. Aww. At homes. That's uh, much cuter than our dust bunnies. Wood. So this is really how you're gonna start to discover some of these critters. You know, unlike the chickens where you just get a coop yes. and have them at home. Uh, you're gonna have to actually find these guys out in the neighborhood. Uh, and rabbits, you can build a relationship with them, you can befriend them. Uh, Antonio's cheating a little bit here so we can see some of the fun interactions with them. Um, but one of the best ways to do that is to give them critter gifts, and we'll show that off in just a little bit here. Uh, but as you build a relationship with these rabbits, that's what actually enables you to bring them back to your home lot. Um, so, you know, in the beginning, you'll see them roaming around the world. They may come visit you at your home. Uh, they actually burrow into tunnels in the oh world. My you'll see them, like, tunneling up around here. Well, they cheat, and then they never door. play the game. Um, but once you've befriended them, you can actually go into the catalog. You can buy their home here and uh, have them in your home lot. Uh, and they're super cute. Uh, toddlers and up can even form relationships with them, so they'll pet them and hug them and just, you know, warm, happy feelings all around. Uh, but the nice thing about rabbits and befriending them is that they'll actually help you out with your garden as well. Uh, so as you're growing some of those oversized crops or just any of your plants, uh, you can ask rabbits to help out. Uh, and they'll actually come and nibble on the weeds in your garden and take care of those. Uh, or they might uh, go and actually fertilize uh, some of your uh, dirt patches uh, to help your crops grow better. So there's lots of benefits to getting to know them. Yeah, they're overall super helpful. Uh, as your garden grows, I highly recommend, uh, you know, recruiting some, some critters to help you out. Uh, it makes things a lot easier. Um, so it looks like there's a bird home here. Do you want to go ahead and uh, talk to some of the birds? The birds? Yeah, so uh, birds are somewhat similar to rabbits in that you're going to have to find them out Adorable. in the world. You can have bird friends? Now, unlike the other animals in the pack, you don't form a relationship with an individual bird. Uh, you actually get to know the entire flock. You can see there's a bunch of birds that are living uh, in this dead tree. So uh, as you find them and start to gain the trust of the flock, uh, you can actually befriend them again. Uh, and then, again, that'll allow you to purchase their home Wait, here, uh, bring it uh, back to your own lot, uh, and interact with you them on a very Snow direct White. basis. Uh, but there's lots of adorable interactions with the birds as well. Uh, I really love singing to them. You get these kind of great fairy tale moments where they're all kind of flitting to and fro around your head. Uh, just great stuff. Uh, and again, uh, you know, multiple ages, of course, can interact with the birds and have a great time with them. So, really cute. I'm, uh, uh, I'm attempting singing here. Looks like it's going well. Yeah, let's see. Are they, are they enjoying it? Because yeah. uh, if they don't enjoy it, uh, you might get pooped on. Just warning yeah. you, Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> should, uh, uh, should we try some gifting here? Sure, we can. Um, one of the other things, just as you're building relationship with them, mm -hmm. uh, they also help out with your garden just in a slightly different way. Um, so you could ask them to uh, help out, and they'll actually take care of any insects that show up in your garden. They'll chow down on those. Uh, or you'll see them flying around and singing to your crops, which really helps with the, the size and the quality uh, of the oversized crops that you grow. Uh, now, Antonio is giving them some gifts directly here, and as we go in and uh, select that give gift option. You can see there's a whole bunch of different choices in there. Uh, and this is one of the best ways to start building a relationship with these wild critters. Uh, by giving them something, you're building trust with them and really showing that you want to be their friend. Uh, but as you go through, you're going to have to discover the things that they like and they dislike or gifts that they absolutely love. Uh, and so that's part of getting to know each of these wild critters because they have their own individual I don't think they preferences. Like, wolves. like not every rabbit. Uh, is kind of like receiving uh, a cross stitch, for example. Uh, so you get to know them uh, individually and find out uh, what your little furry friends like. <laughs> it looks like they also uh, they have offered me a gift, which is nice. Uh, one of the other benefits from animals is they'll they'll offer you gifts too, right? Yeah, definitely. So as you get to befriend them, uh, they'll give some things back Free to you. Fish. So always always a good idea to get to know the wild animals out in the world. Looks like uh, they they scrounged up a wild tree fish that they just gave me. 
All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, so in the in the Bramblewood, there's actually a creature keeper. Uh, he's sort of tasked with maintaining the the wild animals in this area, and he sort of befriends them all. Uh, should we see wow. if we can find him here? Well, it looks like he's uh, he's going to go visit Sophie the snail. So we go hang out you? here. Yeah, the creature keeper is one of my uh, favorite guys to get to know because he's really who you're going to chat with uh, when you want to so, get some adorable back, outfits back. for your animals to wear. Uh, so yeah. you can purchase some of them from him. That, uh, if you share wool cool. with your llamas, for example, you can bring that wool to him and he'll craft uh, some animal clothing <laughs> for you. And you'll want to keep checking back with him each day because he has kind of a rotating stock of different outfits, different colors of the outfits. Uh, so lots of really adorable things to uh, dress all of your animals in. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few clothing. Uh, also, you you may have saw in the trailer we have our our robber gear for the the fox, uh, as well as probably my favorite one is the amazing Technicolor neck warmer for uh, llama, which you can see Harold wearing in the trailers as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, one of the other things you'll see here is you can actually offer help with errands, uh, and that's a brand new thing in the pack as well. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Ooh. Sure. So, uh, villager errands. Uh, you can chat with some of the different villagers who live in the world. Uh, so, not just the creature keeper here, but certainly if we went over to the pub, uh, you'd find a lot of villagers that'll offer some of these. Uh, and as you go about them, you can see Antonio actually selected multiple errands to work on at the same time. Uh, which is one of the really nice benefits of these. Oh. So yeah. unlike things like odd jobs, That's what these people don't were have saying, time Bertha. limits on them. It's just, hey, uh, one of the villagers needs help with something, and you can do that to help build a relationship with them and get great rewards out of it. I think probably one of my favorite changes that we made to this is the fact that I can take more than one. Uh, it's allowed us to make more interesting, longer-term uh, sort of errands and goals for the player to, to complete. Um, and some of them, you know, like even is, Mrs. Mrs. Crumplebottom, she has a really cool uh, sort of matchmaker quest uh, that I've enjoyed playing through. Uh, we won't go, we won't dive in too deep because uh, we only have a little bit, but um, I highly recommend talking to the the villagers and, uh, and, and Scott will discuss that a little bit later, but accepting their various errands and seeing what uh what you can uh you can uncover yeah i think it's really fun how that's how you're going to discover a lot of the lore the background and the story uh of the sims who live uh here in henford on bagley or the hob, yeah. <laughs> the hob. As, as well as doing some uh of those repeatable errands to to really help out again with uh all the various things in this pack that work together uh and getting really helpful rewards that'll build towards that yeah, absolutely. Uh, but also, I do want to point out, uh, we have a new aspiration for the pack called the Country Caretaker. Um, so this is uh, similar to other aspirations uh, in the pack. This sort of guides you through a lot of the, the new content, uh, sort of setting the aspiration for your sim of being sort of, a, you know, the the overall caretaker of their, their cottage um, animals, um, as well as the, the wild animals in the world. Uh, so it has you doing a lot of that stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's head back home. Uh, so I know, I, again, I'm going to run some cheats here to show off some um, some of the Finchwick fairs. So I'm going to try and prep for a giant crop competition. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to head back home, uh, and we're going to go ahead and talk through uh, some of the the giant the oversized crops um, that you can grow. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to show off some of, uh, some of the gameplay with our furry friend uh, and foxes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pitch it over to Thomas, who is the so designer on Foxes, uh, to give us a little bit more info. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so I, we've talked a little bit about the, the Wild Foxes lot challenge. So Whoa. if you have that set on a lot, you'll start to see foxes appear uh, occasionally during the day, sometimes hide at night. Hide your hens, hide uh, your eggs. Most of the times oh, they're no. to steal maybe your chickens your eggs your so fruits. he is our burglar um you have a lot of different ways to try to deal with them you could try to befriend them uh you could also uh put down a llama as we talked about before uh roosters are also a good way of of kind of protecting your chickens and your coop uh, and right now we can see the fox just eyeing up that rabbit <laughs> yeah I don't, know, I don't know if this is gonna end well for this for hopper here um in the in the uh, for for science i think i'm gonna let him uh figure it out Let's see what oh. happens. No! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it looks like a problem. Maybe winning here? Can't tell. 
I went, hi. Why? <laughs> Oh, oh no! How could you cry? Oh. Well, I, I guess it's a pretty good meal then. Oh. <laughs> How many times have we run this and the fox has failed every time on live stream? But of course, the moment we go live, he finally succeeds. I uh, you know, right? Uh, last time we tried this, he actually ran into the coop and he ended up stealing one of my golden eggs. Uh, so I had to stop that. I wasn't gonna allow that to happen. So um, you can't you can't have a sim uh, run over and stop a fox. Well, so there are m multiple ways to interrupt them before. Uh, you, it didn't your, even just hurt him. He ate lost. him. He killed yeah. him. Oh, that uh, They garden. can also fight back. They have a good chance of winning. That looks so uh, good. Unfortunately, there Hopper was just just not this just not his day. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so uh, we, as I mentioned too, in the uh, the lot challenges panel, you saw that wild fox's lot challenge. Um, can you want to talk about that a little bit, Thomas? Just how that yeah. functions. So Thomas. So it, by default in the EP11 world, um, uh, the uh, foxes will appear in the in the open street and uh, wander around and kind of investigate different things or perform different actions. Uh, but occasionally during the day or at night, a fox will appear um, either to investigate your lot or try to steal something. Uh, and if you remove the lot challenge, the foxes will no longer appear in your lot, but they still will appear in the world. Um, it, if you'd like to stop them from trying to steal from you, you can befriend what? the fox by either giving them gifts or performing socials on them. Uh, and as long as a sim is uh, a friend of the fox and asks them not to steal, too. they will, the fox, even if they appear, will not try to go after your Kids chickens or steal any of your fruits. Uh. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so for those players not looking for that pushback, you can always disable it. It's an it's a it's an opt-in experience. Um, but I think it's a lot of fun. For chat and for Hopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so switching over to gardening. Um actually so I'll go ahead and pull up the calendar really Ooh. quick. Um, so one thing I'm actually super excited about, we did for Cottage Living, uh, the patch coming out before Cottage Living that everyone is going to get is the calendar. So we're actually providing the calendar to everyone um, with some minor adjustments. Obviously, if you don't have seasons installed, uh, you will not see the seasons panels. Uh, but I'll let Sarah talk a little bit about that, um, the sort of update we did here. Yeah, sure. So we have moved the calendar to base game so you can track things a little bit easier. Whoa, really? There is still going to be season specific uh, gameplay with it. So weather and creating holidays. So no worries about that being carried forward there. But this will also we also added festivals on there. So you'll be able to tell when those are and you'll actually be able to read the flyer straight from there and go to the festival if it's running. Aww. But yes, yeah, so hopefully this will help people kind of manage their time with their sims and I hope folks like that as an addition to base game. Yeah, I think it'll be a nice uh, quality of life update there for everyone. Um, so, uh, we have a oversized crop competition coming up. Uh, cool. I got the little notification here. Again, I, I ran a cheat. Um, they are on a specific schedule, but I, I want to make sure I can show you within the hour. So, um, I've had my sim already grow some, some oversized crops here, so I'll probably take the pumpkin with me. Uh, but before I take off to the Finchwick Fair, I did want to show off uh, a, another thing that we are adding uh, for the free update before um, Cottage Living funny. drops is the ability for uh, children to garden so you can see here i have uh, my my child sim actually walking around and weeding and watering the plants um, this is also building their uh logic skill i believe if i remember correctly uh, mental skill sorry this is building their mental skill um and certain interactions will unlock depending on your your mental skill so for example uh children won't be able to plant uh plants right off the bat they'll have to reach mental skill i believe three in order to actually start planting plants but they can always water and weed straight off the bat um for our, for sort of risk and danger reasons we actually don't let um children use bug killer uh, just because of the toxins and stuff uh so we we but didn't allow them to the spray for bugs but, uh, you'll be able to recruit your rabbits and birds uh to help you there if you need it um, so, I have oversized crops. Let me talk about these a little bit and maybe some of our new plants that we've added. So, for Cottage Living, we've added a couple new mushrooms and berries. Uh, so, you can see here uh, I have a blueberry bush, a uh, raspberry bush, 
and uh, our new choco berry bush that we've added. Uh, so a couple new berries for some some pies. Uh, again, some of the new recipes we've also added. We've added some additional pies. Uh, as well as some some more mushrooms. So we have spicy mushrooms, uh, the verdant mushrooms, and then the lovely mushrooms. And my favorite is the nightly mushrooms, which uh, at a certain time at night they will actually become full bloomed and they'll start growing or uh, glowing uh, a bright blue. Uh, so these. Uh, Ingredients can all be used with some of our new recipes. We have a mushroom stew we've added. Um, so there's a, a lot of fun gameplay there. Um, so moving on to oversized crops. So you can see here I've planted quite a few. So I have uh, a lettuce, I have a mushroom, pumpkin, watermelon, and then we have aubergine, which is uh, eggplants. Um, so how these work, they actually function slightly different than uh, normal gardening plants. Uh, you may be familiar with normal gardening. You can basically drag out uh, a piece of the plant uh, anywhere in the world and plant it. Uh, with these oversized crops, because they grow to massive um, uh, weights and sizes, uh, you, they actually have to be contained within these new gardening patches. So we have both a flat patch as well as this sort of... Um, the mounded patch here. So depending on your aesthetics, they function exactly the same. Uh, you can swap those out. Uh, but what's going to happen here is you actually click on this patch and you'll purchase oversized crop seeds. Um, so unlike normal gardening, uh, where you we actually don't really use seeds, we just uh, we let you plant the plant itself. Uh, you're actually going to buy seeds specifically for oversized crops. So you can see I have aubergine, this lettuce, mushrooms, pumpkin, and watermelon. Um, I'll go ahead and start a new pumpkin since I'm going to pick this one. So once you purchase the seeds, you'll click on this patch again, and you'll plant oversized crop, and you'll go ahead and choose from the list of uh, seeds, and then your sim will walk over. And again, unlike normal gardening where they just plant the single plant, they're actually going to scatter the seeds all over this patch here. And you can see I potentially can, uh, you'll see it, it forms Wait, nine so cool. different mounds here. And at this stage, uh, this is where I really want to water Urge and to sort of encourage crop go growth. <laughs> Uh, this is what's going to promote a, a sort of large pumpkin like you see here. Hi, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, cheating here. So let's do... Uh, let's go to sprouted. Perfect. So once the, the plant enters the sprouted stage, uh, you can run these interactions called encourage crop growth, as well as fertilizing the crop. Uh, when you fertilize them, uh, we have a couple new fertilizers that we've added that are actually specifically fertilizer. Uh, so things like Super Vitality, Hassle Free Fertilizer, also Grow Fast Fertilizer, which will actually wow. speed up the plant's growth. Stardew. Um, so this Do stage it, is very next. important for the plant. Uh, as Think you place the through here, water care for it, talk to now. it, uh, what will happen is the plant will actually, um, depending on how well you took care of it, will determine whether you will get four small plants, you will get two medium-sized plants, or you'll get an oversized uh, single crop. Uh, and again, you're, there's actually benefits to um, all three of these options. So the oversized crops, the very large ones, are very good for entering into festivals or the, the Finchwick Fair. Uh, whereas the medium and small ones are actually better for canning. So, for example, oh, if I, I go to my stove it. and I want to make a uh, canned Could pumpkin, I, I might want to use excited? my four small ones as opposed to my giant, uh, you know, pumpkin for a single can. So there's some gameplay in there that I actually really enjoy uh, a bit of a decision. Um, so I talked talk a little bit about these oversized crops. Let's go ahead and harvest this pumpkin here. Uh, let's harvest the crop. And we'll go ahead and uh, bring it over to the Finchwick Fair in uh, Finchwick. So let's go ahead and uh, let's head over to the Gnome's Arms. Uh, this is where the Finchwick Fair is located. We'll just go with our, our main sim for now. Amazing. Do you not have Sims 4? And uh, I am going to actually pitch it over to Morgan, who is going to talk about the, the fair a little bit and how these work. And maybe the different kinds. That's a good question, Kate. Okay. You want to do a hi, Nick? All right, so we... <laughs> so we have um, a lot of different types of fairs, and um, Antonio mentioned before that they're on a schedule, and they happen um, once a week, because people in Finchwick really love their fairs. Um, there are different types of fairs. As you can see at this one, you can kind of look at the stands there and see they have the giant crops, and then I believe this one also has the pies over here. 
so those are the two competition entries but every week there's going to be a different one um, you can figure out which types of submissions there's going to be by um, number one using the new calendar update um, when you hover over it'll say what they're actually doing for the fair or if you click on the fairs antonio it'll uh, update on the left there and you can see oh this one's going to be the wool competition so i should start Ooh. making some wool um then the other way you can tell uh, what fair is going to be coming are these awesome community boards around town. There's one here in Finchwick, and there's also one in the Old New Henford uh, community garden area. And you can click on them to read about the Finchwick fair, um, which will pop up like a fair flyer that'll tell you all about these fairs. So yeah. perfect. Yeah. It looks like uh, someone submitted a pretty oversized watermelon here, 45 kilograms. Uh, should I submit my pumpkin? So we can see how it stacks up. Hard to beat that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's uh, let's go ahead and um, let's. Oh, it looks like uh, there's another pumpkin being submitted here. That one looks like a medium one. That's a watermelon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and submit my oversized pumpkin. Um, and I'm actually going to go, I'll, I'll, I'm going to kick it over to Scott, who is one of the designers for uh, our villagers, to talk a little bit about some of these special villagers here. I can see we have the village mayor actually judging some of our crops right now. Scott, you want to talk about, about those a little bit? Yeah, hello. Good morning. Good morning to you, Romeo. Good morning to all our simmers. Absolutely it's, chuffed to be here. Oh, it's as they Doi! Would say I can see his face in my head um, when he speaks. We wanted to give Hemford on Bagley a really unique feel as a kind of like close-knit community. And so you have these special uh, NPCs that will show up that are kind of uh, the, the personality of the town and give you a little bit of extra oh, lore hey. into yeah, the town. They'll have these titles above them. You see the village mayor there. Um, we have wow. uh, a bunch of them that you'll run into around town. And as Graham kind of showed off earlier, you have interactions with them that are unique. So there are things like uh, they are the ones that will have errands for you to run uh, and be able to kind of have do, a not necessarily heart heart. their bidding, but help them out. The idea that everyone in this village helps each other out. Um, I don't know if they're around right now. These I was going to say, uh, I know that in the trailer, people were certainly excited for two of the uh, special... Oh, no, the shops are oh, closed. They're always closed right now. Um, <laughs> because, because I used some yeah. cheats. Uh, we ended up, uh, unfortunately, timing that wrong. Let's see. Uh, uh, but let's... One of them is, uh, I think you mentioned uh, Mrs. Mrs. Crumplebottom earlier. Yeah, yeah, let's get her, let's get her in here. Let's see if um, she's not sleeping. Our... <laughs> oh, she's coming. Oh, she'll be right over. She'll be right over. She never sleeps. Um, is is Agnes Crumplebottom, our, our, our very, our favorite... I don't know, queen of mean. How would you describe her? She's 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 a little grumpy. She's a little grumpy. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I, I can see uh, Agatha, her her uh, cousin over here. Yeah, yeah, her cousin Agatha. Um, they run the garden shop together, so they both. You might find one or the other Do of it. them Prepare running yourself. the garden That's shop a sunflower on dress. different days. You, see uh, you probably know Agnes Crumplebottom if you have played with uh, her before in maybe previous Made Sims for games. Me, I'll take um, it. She's not a fan of you know, I would say like romance in the open near her. Uh, yeah, her cousin Agatha. We we wanted to kind of give someone that felt like a good uh, foil to that. So Agatha is almost the opposite. She's very um, outgoing and, and gregarious and also will... Uh, gregarious, will actually, not gregarious. She has a little oh. bit of uh, kind of gregarious. extra friendliness with, with some of the gnomes. Cut. She's a very big fan of. Did you try and flirt with her? I did try to flirt with Agnes. <laughs> uh, you... Okay, well, I don't think she's going to respond to that. <laughs> I mean, well. she's doing probably what I want her to do here. Well, we, we gotta show up for on this. Schmack! Schmack! <laughs> and the one up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Agnes, Agnes's famous uh, uh, purse slap. Are you trying to get fresh with me, young oh, man? That's what that sounds like. Oh, she's gonna get fresh with me, young man. Oh! She got her fist on that one. So violent. Alright. I'm wondering if she beats me with that one. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, in addition to the crumple bottoms, there are a bunch of NPCs. You also met the the creature keeper in uh, the Bramblewood. If you ever uh, want to kind of just know who all of the villagers who help run Finchwick are, you can go to Aww. our boards. This lovely interaction that lets you uh, kind of 
I get love a look it. at all of them. Um, they are so aside from the crumple bottoms, the crumple bottoms are a little bit we needed uh, some good a little Sims bit special. War, you know, they yep. you can do what you you can you can try and cheat with them, and there are some ways, but like they're gonna be around forever um for the other npcs if something happens to them if they join a household or if some, some tragedy befalls them um finchwick has to keep on running and so after a little while you'll actually get someone who steps into that new role um, so uh, the, the grocery shop owner the mayor so right, excited. The owner, Hi, Mom. Um, any of those uh, special npcs what you'll see is if something happens uh, a new a uh, special Finchwick NPC will, will kind of step up and take that place. Um, and yep. yeah, wow. I would especially, one of the things that uh, I guess you haven't shown, but there are spe some special socials that uh, if you're mm. playing the game, uh, you should definitely try running on them. There is, uh, there's a kind of a special gift uh, in tradition in Finchwick, uh, but there's also the... Uh, uh, have a Henford heart to heart, and that one is a, a special social that really we have put a, a little bit of care and, and love behind it in terms of yeah, some of the lore, some of the uh, responses that you might get there. Are you going to give a Finchwick favor to the mayor? Um, okay, I'm going to give her some fertilizer. Okay. <laughs> um, as you're as your relationship grows with them, as you give them gifts, as you do errands for them, um, I would keep coming back, doing that Henford heart-to-heart, -heart, seeing what they have to tell you about the village, about themselves. Um, I think there's some kind of, uh, some some cute cute bits of lore uh, behind that uh, with each of the different NPCs. Yeah. Uh, I tried to offer her some fertilizer. Uh, she did not like it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to bribe the judge to see if she can give me a, a leg up in potentially this, this competition here. Oh yeah, that's specifically at during the oh. Mm. Uh oh, that that can't, That's probably not gonna help. I guess How I think I just you? completely flubbed. I think I flubbed my uh, chances at this this Finchwick fair here. She did not like Rip. that. Oh, no, no. Uh, it's, it's all going downhill. Yeah, I think uh, we can go ahead and pan over here. Unfortunately, again because of uh, a little bit of cheating and timing, uh, the the stalls are closed. But Morgan, line. do you want to tell us about our two? Um, shops that we have here just fast forward. In, in town yeah we have the garden shop and we have a town grocery shop the mm -hmm. um both really loop well back into our other um game plays where you can buy supplies um and seeds or you can buy groceries um and also Crumble we bottoms. added in selling at these shops so if you have harvested your own crops you can come here and sell them for a premium um especially if affairs is happening um, yeah, to the people. In the Central Fair, I think you get, what, like a 10% boost to selling items, which is yeah, really nice. They also have some special items for you um, during that time. Cause yeah, I, I think I saw a golden egg being sold at one of them, which was pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, we we also added a couple new interactions to these, uh, these shells here. You want to talk about those? Yeah, um, the village shops were just so adorable that NPCs and you can also vil uh, window shop at them. So you can go around and you'll see Sims looking in the windows and enjoying the goods inside. Look at the it's bread! It's pretty adorable. Oh, it's cute. There's yeah. also, you also um, get a nice little buff from them, right? Yeah, you get a buff from them, um, which is nice. But there's also this one at the end that looks like a little clothing shop and you can change your outfit or plan oh your outfit at that God. one. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to take this moment. Um, again, we're, we only have about 10 more minutes left, but I do want to take this moment to maybe uh, jump into Cass. Actually, let's not jump into Cass uh, because I'm going to leave Cass up to Game Changers. Um, I, what I actually want to do really quick is I want to head back home and I want to show off the pawn tool really quick with our last 10 minutes. Uh, I'm actually going to pitch it over to Graham to see if we could do a lightning round for pawns if possible. Yeah, so the water tool, uh, as he mentioned, is coming to the game. It's actually coming for everybody uh, in the base game update that comes right before the release of Cottage Living. Uh, so if we hop in the build oh, mode here, tool. Uh, you'll I see don't that know we've got to reorganize some of the, the layout of build mode to accommodate the arrival of the water tool. Uh, so not only have we reorganized how you're going to find a lot of the water objects, uh, but as you go in, um, Water Tool is part of your terrain manipulation. So if you're familiar with it from past games, uh, it was just kind of its own thing. But now you're going to want to combine it by actually manipulating your terrain 
uh, carving a hole into the ground, uh, and then filling that hole with water. So it's completely customizable. You can have different depths of ponds on your lot or build, uh, you know, uh, all, all sorts of different things at different heights. So as Antonio goes into the water tool here, you can see he's filling it up. Uh, you can have them separate. You can actually combine them together That's nice. uh, as he adds more water or removes water from the different holes. Uh, and so lots of cool things That's you can fancy. do with it. There you go. So he, he filled one up so far that actually combined with the hole next to it. Um, now, as he goes into some of the other uh, categories here in build mode, you can start decorating and customizing that pond as well. Uh, you can see we've added four new water styles uh, that work really well with natural water. Oh, we need um, that! Yeah, some like leaf-covered ones and some Oh, I need that ones. so much! Uh, and then we've added uh, new types of uh, decorations uh, you can put on the surface of your pond as well, uh, including my personal favorite, uh, some of the attractors. Uh, so if he puts like be so a log or the oh. down, or yeah, Look. even some of these, uh, well, we would call them VFX objects, but essentially you have these tiles uh, that you're placing on the surface of your water, right? What are uh, those? And so there's dragonflies, there's tadpoles, there's fish, uh, the ducks, swans, even an alligator. Uh, so an you get alligator? Really with it. <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> as Antonio goes we back that. to live mode, you'll see those little tiles on the surface of the water. Those will go away. Uh, and they'll actually turn into the creature. That's literally uh, that the duck see. object we have. Uh, so there we go. Uh, you'll spot some Sims of them there. Sims just takes mods and, and creates it into objects, the game. Have you noticed? You can now and kind of enable wildlife. So he can have a turtle. Oh, look at the turtle! Use that log. Uh, you'll see little flies start buzzing around the reeds. Where's the crocodile? Uh, if you click on any of the lily pads in the game now. Show me uh, the you'll gator. Have an option for frogs to come in. The frogs. The I have that frog mod. Uh, so it really oh, that one's better. That one's much better. <laughs> to life. Uh, I want to see the crocodile. Something you do in build mode and Bring me the gator. The look of your lot. Uh, these ponds have gameplay associated with them as well. So your Sims could go and splash in the water around the edges of the pond. They can look for frogs. Uh, Wait, they made a Antonio's fishing thing that's not debug? Oh my god, I could cry. Well. Uh, so you, these are completely fishable what? bodies of water. Uh, and you just click on your fishing sign and you select which fish the pond is going to be stocked with. I just uh, so And this happy. is kind of an interesting thing because... To stock a pond with fish, you first have to have discovered those fish oh, in that's household amazing. collections. And so as you go out and roam around and explore the world and the different fishing spots, you'll catch you fish, can swim you'll in discover them. new types of fish, I think. and then you can bring them back home to your pond and stock your pond with play them. Play in water. And you then can you play have in these it. custom fishing holes. Uh, Maybe if it's deeper, you can you know, swim? Have a, have a good time, whether it's, hey, I need to acquire more of these <laughs> fish or... Uh, just have a relaxing Sunday fishing. Somebody playing it. Yeah, Can toddlers play in it? For those min min maxers like myself, uh, I got one of those rare tree fish, and I will absolutely be using my. So it's my like a sprinkler if you look at it. here to stock with all the, the rarest fish. I think that'll be great. <laughs> yeah. So again, everything we just showed in this part is coming to the base game as part of the update. Uh, so I'll look out for it. If you're a builder, I'm so excited. Nuts. Uh, if you're not a crazy I'm builder, excited. my mind is filling with ideas. Hi, Kara. Cool creations people are going to be making because uh, you know, this is we showed you the most basic possible version of what you can do here, uh, but the possibilities are just endless uh, with what this tool allows. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. Hmm. So for for players who have seasons, uh, you won't see this with our game changers today because they're. We're only going to show you cottage living with the base game, but uh, if you have seasons, the ponds will actually freeze over in the winter. Oh! So, uh, you know, as the pond freezes over, some of these animals might go away. Uh, you won't be able to fish in a frozen pond, obviously. Uh, Ooh, if you were gator, placing look. fountains in your ponds, for example, they'll shut off in the winter. Oh, there's the gator. Oh, Watch hi. out. <laughs> um, we so can make Florida. But yeah, we, we definitely have uh, those working nicely with seasons uh, so you can enjoy them with that pack. Oh, I awesome. love it. Thank oh, you very nice much, Graham. This is a, a nice 
lightning fast look at Pawns. But yeah, like, like I said, I'm super excited to see what you all make. Uh, I know our builders are super talented. Uh, so I, I will start browsing the gallery as soon as this drops to, to see all the cool stuff you make. Um, so I think um, we're probably going to wrap it up here. Uh, no, as more. Andy mentioned, uh, keep a lookout for all of your favorite game changers. Uh, they're about to be posting tons of content that goes far more in depth uh, than we just did here. We wanted to give everyone a very high level look at the pack. Uh, but yeah, keep keep an eye out for that. Um, and with that, I'll uh, pitch it over to Andy. Thank you all for, for joining us for to... this. Yeah, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um... That is our EP, or sorry, uh, The Sims 4 Cottage Living Livestream. Um, we hope you're excited uh, for it as much as we are. And we hope you uh, enjoy all the content Best that pack. you'll be seeing in the coming days. Thank you so much, everyone. Before we go, our Antonio, I, wasn't there some bonus content that we maybe wanted True to show off as well? <laughs> oh, that was actually great. Thank you, Thank you Graham. Um, so as you saw, so let's see, uh, let's see if this I can, This doesn't come um, out until the 22nd, right? So. Yeah. Our search here. Um, 21st? 22nd? Here we go. Um, so yeah, as, as so I mentioned, that uh, releasing if you purchase so the game before, uh, September 2nd, uh, we actually have some bonus content. So we have a, uh, a special gnome, uh, you can see here riding a chicken. Um, let me get it, uh, let me change the lighting here a little bit. So yeah, we have a little no manga chicken, and then we also have a completely rideable bicycle. Um, so I'm actually super excited. You can, your Sims can use this to get around, uh, the hob, as we like to say. Um, we also are adding, let's see if I can find Two it really weeks. quick. Here we go. Uh, so we're adding this decorative tree here. It has Two a very weeks. cute little, uh, a gnome door. So this whole pack is the gnome on the go uh, special content. And again, if you all you have to do is uh, purchase before September 2nd, and you'll get all three of these items, the tree, the gnome, as well as the completely rideable bicycle. Um, it'll get completely added to your, uh, your game. Um, so yeah, I definitely look forward to all you picking this pack up and, and trying it all out. It's uh, It's been a blast working on it. Uh, I've been having so much fun playing it in the studio, uh, and I just cannot wait for you all to get your hands on it very soon. All right, I think, uh, I think that'll do it. Andy, was there any closing statements we wanted to make? Amazing. Nope, we should be good. Better babies? Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Dang it. Right at the end, they should have been like, and also, better babies, and just ended. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. I'm pretty, there's a handful of us, Hannah, including myself, who won't even be home when this comes out. It's coming out, like, on the worst possible date. <laughs> but, regardless, it'll be out, so, I mean, that'll be good. Okay, you stare at Minnie for a second. I'm gonna get out of this. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> I'm excited, but I wish it was out now. Let me change my title. There we go. That should be fixed. Um, and then we need to open up the Sims, but there is something I want to take out of my mod folder because them doing that made me remember. But I have to remember what it's called. The one mod that I have that changes lots to residential lots breaks a lot of things. And I've noticed it's very broken and I haven't updated it. Well, I want to just take it out. Venues. Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to um, take that out before we launch. We don't need that. Okay. Let me boot up Sims. Because that way, I will be able to see, like, the icons. For some reason, the venue mod breaks the icons when new packs come out. So, like, it makes everything look like it's base game when it's not. And then I never know what's new. And then also, it broke my terrain tool, I'm assuming. Because I don't know what else has broken my terrain tool. But, like, the actual UI is broken for it. Hello, Violet, how are you? Do it, Cammy. You'll be in a different country when it comes out? Yeah, I will not be here. We're gonna have to uh, wait on the hype <laughs> until, until I'm back. <laughs> we just watched it all, Violet. We just finished. 
Yeah, I'll have my laptop, but not, like, my computer or anything. So, it sucks. And I don't want to play, like, Sims on my laptop because, well, um, it won't be all my stuff on my computer. I could, I guess, download base game, or, like, all the games with no CC. <laughs> That'd be weird. Do you get to play with it when you get it? If you pre-order it. Yeah? You get it- if you pre-order, you get it same day that everyone can buy it, but you do get the special stuff this time around. Yeah, we- we just watched it all together. Is she over there on that blanket, blending in? If you notice, during the live stream, she brought in a bunch of her toys and sticks. Oh my goodness, do you want to become famous, everybody? She brought in all of her toys and sticks, though, and has created quite the party down there. The game's launching right now. It just takes forever. Hi, baby girl. Oh. <laughs> we can barely see you. You blend in. Just your little orange tufts of your legs. Speaking of parties, yes, tomorrow is going to be big, big party. It's gonna be a good one. Get excited. Alright, orphanage, play. Hello, baby frog, how are you? And everyone who came in during that, I obviously wasn't talking much during it because it's hard to talk over them. But, welcome in. I hope you're excited for the new pack. And there were some things people said that I wanted to touch on that I, I just, it was really hard to talk over the stream because I didn't want people to not be able to hear the stream or not be able to hear me. But Cam said they should just add all allergies and I think that would be cool, especially if they're gonna add lactose intolerant now. Oh, and there is something else I wanted to say. Oh, the pumpkins for the pumpkin carving station. I saw someone ask about that on the post on Twitter. I don't know, but that's a really good question. Seeing, make sure I didn't miss anything else. And yeah, I guess they can't swim in the ponds. But all those animals in the ponds is amazing. Alright, I'm back down. Your redacted is looking nice. What you doing, Bertha? Your sims could be miserable with hay fever with you. Yeah, right? Well, it's like, now that they've opened the door and added lactose intolerance, we already have vegetarian. Which, that's not an allergy, that's a choice, but... I just feel like people in the Sims community now are going to be like, well, where's everything else? <laughs> you know what's going to happen. You are doing redacted. It would be cool if you could carve the pumpkins. I feel like you'd be able to. They seem to remember those things when they do stuff, but we'll see. So, yesterday, we adopted a dog. Actually, all of our families have dogs here. So we spice things up. We let our ghost girl go. Gluten-free is coming. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. And then they're just going to do the fad gluten-free. They're not going to do celiac. And it's just going to be bad. So let's just hope they don't. Um, the orphanage got a puppy. And every other orphan family that has already aged up and gone out, we gave them puppies. We just did it for fun. Spicing it up. Um, and we took two dogs from the gallery. And we took pug-owned dogs. Pug owns dogs. Ooh, that's hard to say. Because they look more realistic. So everyone has a puppy. Um, we did get... Lucy or Dorothy pregnant. One of them. I think Dorothy. We did it through MC Command Center. I kind of already know what she's having. Anyone who saw it does. But if you don't, it'll be a surprise. And yeah. As far as the main house right now. Oh, Flynn aged up into a teen. And we just kind of need to work on skills now. And as we do that, we'll just keep developing storylines. And yeah, that, that's your update from yesterday. We did have to re-kill Evangeline. So that was very interesting. Go in here. Go get our orphanage music. Yeah, Flynn ended up being pretty cute. Oh, if you were here at the end of stream, we did a sneak peek of what Theodore will look like. So we think we're going to have the twins fight over Theodore when he ages up. But I'll check their birthdays. I'll see, like, 
when their birthdays line up. We may or may not like the face on someone else's body. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So we moved up my monitors before screen, just to, or before stream, not screen, just a little bit, because I felt like I was looking down at my monitors more so than up. But I gotta say, it's just a little weird to get used to. <laughs> like, it's not that big of a difference, but any minute difference of something you stare at for like 12 hours a day is weird. Like, you guys feel a little farther away now. Hello, Kira. Am I going to move to the other side of the room? Probably not. I feel like... To be fair, you guys will see the shelf more on this side. So this room is a little weird. And I, I can't really show it all because I've got a lot of crap in the closet. But I'll try to explain it. Um, let's see. So obviously the door is behind me. And to you guys, in your brains, this room is reversed. Which is always weird. Because, like, I'm mirrored. So this is my right hand. I don't know what it looks like to you. But, the door is there. This wall that you see behind the tree is just like this little wall. The shelf will fit perfect on that wall. It'll actually be a little bit bigger, but it should be okay. It's just the, uh, 4x4, four four, like, cube shelves. And then behind that, the wall actually goes farther back than that door. Because, can you guys see the ceiling? You can't. So that door, like, goes back a little bit. I do have my Legos there. Oh, and these are Christmas ornaments. I took off the tree. Oops. <laughs> Forgot about those. So that goes back. That side goes back even farther, but there's a closet. But like a really little one with no doors. It's kind of weird. I don't know what they did to this room. But right now, obviously, we have like a lot of junk sitting there. So that would be behind if I was on the other side. Um, so you wouldn't even see the shelf on that side. But at that point, we would probably... What I was thinking when we were going to switch is I would put, like, a curtain over the closet because there's no doors. And, like, just make that part pretty. And that's what would be behind me on stream. Or if I used a green screen, it could work on that side. But, yeah, for now, we're just sitting where we're at because we don't have new desks or anything. But we will finally have the shelf I've been talking about since, like, last year. So that will be here tomorrow. And that's why the tree is naked now, and there's no tree skirt, because I just cleaned everything off of it. So now all we have to do is take it apart. Which, that will be Thomas's job, because I don't even know how the tree comes apart. And then we'll have to go store that in the basement. Green curtains. It'd be too far back. It wouldn't be my full background. It's, it's a bit away. I do have the green screen. I just haven't put it up. But yeah, it'll be cute. And then so you guys will see part of the shelf. And then what you guys can see, I'll just put some, you know, cute things like the Build-A-Bears. Stuff like that. Probably that Lego set right there or any other Lego sets I build. And then it will just be nice to kind of put up like the things I want to see every day but you don't use, you know? Like the Build-A-Bears. Or the Lego sets. Like I want to stare at them but I don't use them. My pot figures are currently all down here on this shelf. Well, actually, most of them are in a box, but the ones I have here are down there, so then I can put those up there. My merch pillows, just shove them in. Those could go, like, on top. That might actually be a place for them. It'll be good. Someday we'd like to, like, renovate the whole room, because obviously this room is very 70s, 80s, with the wallpaper and stuff, but... That'll add something. Rotate the pillows out. <laughs> yeah, I basically, it's going to be my fun to look at shelf. And then Thomas can put his things too. Because um, he has like, I got him a Bulbasaur Build-A-Bear a few years back. So like that could sit on top. That would be cute. And when we have it all set up and it looks real nice, I'll take a picture for Discord because obviously you won't be able to see all of it here. But you'll be able to see some of it. But that's my plan. It's very exciting. Taking down the tree is a big thing because it's July. <laughs> It'll be good. Yeah, although this next Christmas, I'm probably going to want the tree back in here, but it's going to have to go in front of the shelf then. So I don't know how that will work unless we do a small tree this next Christmas and put the big tree in the living room. But here's the thing. Me and Thomas don't really use the living room. We use this room, which is why we put the tree in here. <laughs> because this is where we hang out. 
It's true. Hobby Lobby is into Christmas now. I have a little pink tree that was back there the first Christmas here on stream. And then we had a big tree in the living room. And then that one stayed up until like, you know, November. That one actually did stay up basically all year. You guys just didn't see it. It was in the living room. But people, you know, this is a smaller town, right? And people would walk by our house and see the Christmas tree year round last year, basically. And then they would talk to Thomas's mom about it. <laughs> so we're just the house known for having their tree up. <laughs> and people talk. Oh, no. It's true. If I truly redecorated it for different, like, seasons, it could actually be really cool. But since I don't, it's just literally me leaving the tree up. But it was pink at the very least. It was pink, silver, and gold. Those are anytime colors. So there's your update. Headline effects off. Move objects on. Move objects. Town gossip. I'm sure some people are like, wow, they still have their tree up. And some people are like, wow, they still have their tree up. Kind of like when people come in the stream. You get both sides. Some people are like wowed by it, but they like it. And other people are like, why would you do that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ideally, I would like to like bring it out in November and put it away by like Valentine's. It's just one of those things that you walk by and you just forget about. And it, then it's July, so. And it's nice. It's nice having the lights on, especially when it gets dark in here and we're gaming at night. We have the Christmas lights on. That's kind of nice. But I think what I'll do on those shelves is I have a whole thing of fairy lights. So I'll probably put those on the shelves so it will still glow back there. And like add some light. But it would not be a Christmas tree. <laughs> It'll be fairy lights. Hi puppy. You sitting just off camera today because you have that blanket. Yeah, so my bedroom at my parents... Um, I had fairy lights around the entire ceiling, and it was a fairly large room, so I have a really long thing of fairy lights. I think it's 90 feet. So that's gonna be way too big for the shelf, but if I really wrap it all around it and, like, in between things, it'll make the whole thing glow. Dream home decorator IRL, right? I just wish it was easier to do things IRL, like that you didn't have to use time, money, energy, <laughs> you know? Can we just click it in? That does sound awesome, actually, especially if I put the Legos up there and then kind of intertwine the lights through the Legos. I like that. It'll be cute. It's finally happening. Yeah, because I'll have plenty to work with. 90 feet. I could buy a smaller one, but I have that one and it's, it's not on my walls anymore at my parents, so I might as well use them. The shelf does have an open back. Yeah, it doesn't have any backing on it. You could, like, if you did it right with tape or hooks, you could, like, hang them down the back in lines. Wow, there's so many options. Think of that follow welcome in. It's gonna be exciting. And then all my weird little knick-knacky, nerdy items, Pokemon cards, all of it can, um, be put back there. So that would be nice. Hello, Sakura. This is on the gallery. Lot of CC, but like if you want the shell of it. It's all up. I have built our house in The Sims. Like I, I know what I want things to look like, but money, <laughs> time, energy. Leave it up through each shelf and have each little cubby lit up. It'll be cute. It'll be good. Yeah, this is all on gallery. Just, uh, like I said, a lot of CC. But I know some people have downloaded it just for, like, the, uh, the floor plants and the fixture itself. And then you put whatever you want in it. And then people have posted pictures of what it turns into. A lot of the CC turns into, like, yoga mats. <laughs> it's wonderful. Okay. Let's take a look at birthdays first. Calendar. So the twins age up... On two different days, of course. I think it was like, cause one aged up past midnight. The twins will end up aging up on Tuesday and Wednesday, so we probably will see them age up today. And then, Chi Chi. He 
Theodore will age up Friday then. Thank you for the 11 month resub. Welcome back. Um, Theodore will age up Friday. And then our youngest won't age up until this next Tuesday. So she has quite a while. Now, when does our teenage up and out? Wait. She'll age up here. So, oh, this will work nice. If we get her out of the house and adopt a baby same day, because we're trying to get gaps between the kids, we will have a kid still with a baby and then the rest are teens, so we'll actually start having some gaps. That'll be nice. And then Thanksgiving obviously comes after that. Should you get Island Living or Get Together? Now, Get Together probably has more like normal game content because it adds a lot of base stuff and doesn't Windenburg come and get together and clubs and all of that island living is beautiful and if you're going to play or build with the island stuff I love island living some people always think that that one should have been a game pack but I don't know I really like that one if you're gonna live on the island I mean I did a whole hundred baby challenge on that island Welcome back, Chi-Chi. That's true. I could try to kick Wendy out if we get her skills up. What's she at? What do we need her to work on? And if... Mm, I could try to hurry up with... These kids' birthdays are too soon. Maybe Theodore, so he ages up with them or something? I still want them to be in order, but like, he could age up right after them, if we got his skills up. We will try for that, to make some more gaps. That's true, do you want an ocean world or a tutor world? Tutor. <laughs> That's hard. But, beach world, yeah. I mean... If you want Windenburg, which is where Decades was and where this is, this is on the island in Windenburg, then I'd say Get Together's worth it simply for the world. <laughs> Obviously, you get plenty more things than Get Together, but Windenburg is my favorite world. Although the new pack might change that, but it looks like we only have 164 lot on that new map. If it even is 64, the one in the middle. So I'm a little worried because there wasn't a huge lot in the countryside part. And, and like, wouldn't you want a giant lot in the countryside? Because then you could make a pretend field? So I'm kind of hoping that whatever that big lot in the center is of the new map, that it is, like, country next to it. But I don't know because I didn't go in on all of them. You would think... Because, like, most people who live in the country, if they have a farm and stuff, have a lot of land. If they just have a house but no, like, farmland, then yeah, then it would be smaller plots, but... Do it, Kara. Do it. Okay. Let's get kids working on skilling. It's Sunday at 6. We could get some skilling done. Let's try to get Wendy moved out a little earlier if we can. She could work on... Should we just go get her really good at violin? I mean, that's what she was working on when she was a kid. Let's do that. That's a kid violin. I'm gonna have her work on violin as long as her skills or her needs are okay. Now, Flynn is gonna need a skill. He could do fitness. Or gardening. The only fitness we really have would be swimming. I guess he could just swim, but he's tired. Dang it. Um, Fishing would be easy. Yeah, let's just do fishing and then we'll get money for that. You can fish for a real long time. And then these kids, I think we're working on laundry, but... Hold on. I have noticed that even when I cheat these to be fixed, they're not fixing. Every time we load back in, they're broken. So I'm just gonna put new ones up. Reason being is they cannot repair these with where I have them. I have to move them for them to repair. So I was cheating the repair, but um, they broke, <laughs> like even with the cheats. They won't actually fix anymore. <laughs> Need to wait till it goes on sale. Well, I know for sure that I'll be doing at least one giveaway for it. 
Obviously that will help one of you, not all of you. But, we'll do at least one giveaway. So someone can get it early if you have to wait. Our last kid ages up right at the same time Wendy moves out so we wouldn't have a baby and a kid. Well, her kid age since Wendy will get a cake and she won't, her birthday would be the next day. So we'd have a kid and a baby for one day. Literally one day. If we age up Wendy like a day or so before, we'd have a baby and a kid for a couple days. We just have to be really speedy with their skills, which is difficult. Oh, <sighs> that was a lot of talking. I'm tired. <laughs> Are you even doing laundry? Like, do you have it in your hand? Okay. Can you do that laundry? We'll have those two work on laundry for the time being. What could you work on skill-wise? Motor creativity. Let's have you work on motor. If we max his motor skill as a kid though, as we know from 100 Baby before, he will be a buff teenager. Which, we saw a sneak peek of him. That could work. That would work with his body frame. <laughs> but thank you, Sakura. And then she could, w she has creativity and motor right now. She could work on, I guess we did give her the motor aspiration. You could play on this too. Ooh. <laughs> Go play. And that will work on your motor. Okay, everyone should be skilling. How's our puppy? This is Basil. He's a troublemaker already. He's not actually one, but um, he sure acts like one. And then Susan. No, you don't want to pet Basil. You don't like Basil. Uh, go practice the piano. Oh, Pascal went on vacation again. Well, that's why I'm saying, like, he had proportionate hips to shoulders and all of that. So if he was extremely buff, I think it would work out for him. He doesn't have a troublemaker trait, but he is a troublemaker in the sense that he's always into things. There you go, children. Oh, I want... Oh, I, I don't want this to cancel out what they're doing. It shouldn't. Did I fix this? No! Something else in my game is still breaking that then. Crap! I don't know what it is. I updated all of... Oh, what's their name? The person who does like all the camera mods. Twisted Mexi. I updated all of their mods when the new patch came out. I legit don't know what's breaking my terrain. It's ever since the recent patch. So one of my mods is breaking it, but I don't know which one. <laughs> Let's see if taking out that one thing fixed this issue. Hold on. This is fixed. So that does come from the residential mod I have where it takes away the new pack stuff there. But I don't know what's breaking terrain. I think this one is active, playful, and um, a hunter. No. Mic crunches? I didn't even touch anything this time. Normally it's because I kicked something. <laughs> wow, he looks like a fisherman. Look at him. You see these ducks? These ducks are literally the ducks coming in the new pack. We're gonna have to make this into a... Well, I don't want this to be a pond because they can swim in it. Maybe we'll add a little pond somewhere so we can put a crocodile in it because that makes complete sense. <laughs> I just want a crocodile somewhere. Our deer. Hi, BB deer. I love them. I don't know how it would be dirty. They don't touch it, <laughs> but maybe. All I know is my uh, sound mixer board is so touchy. So if I hit a chord and the chord goes to that, it makes my mic crazy. 
I want the new pack so bad. I'm so mad because I won't even get to play it until August. Lovely. That seems like so far away. It's really not, but the fact that I've already had to wait for the pack and then I have to wait even longer. Huh. Ooh, let's not drink, Wendy. Good. These guys are playing now, that's fine. Zerbano. Actually, if you're using the outhouse, could you come put this laundry on the line? Perfect. Oh, this school project is hers, I believe. Just sell those off. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure we never gave her the money for the previous Monday because we figured that out yesterday but never fixed it. So, I don't know what age kids she would have had the previous Monday. I don't know if Wendy was already a teen. Flynn would have been a kid. So, it would be 500... 500 times 5, yeah. Plus, I guess, 250 for Wendy. So not very much at all. Plus what they already have. Okay. Money, 6864. Yeah, if you guys are waiting on sales, you're gonna be waiting for a while, but I, I understand. 40 bucks is a lot. I already bought it though, so. <laughs> I got that the day it was announced. I'm like, I need this and I'm making sure I have it as if it was gonna sell out. We only have six orphans right now. Normally we have seven, but we had Evangeline for a while, which was Susan's kid and then we killed her off. And then we replaced her with a dog for now. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of be stuck with six orphans for a bit. I would go over household max, but then we can't save them to the gallery. Oh, do you need food, buddy? I was just so excited and we couldn't play with it or know anything more about it at the time besides what we knew. So I just went and pre-ordered it to uh, make myself feel better. And then I know that like I won't forget to order it. I mean, I wouldn't because I stream with it, but I don't know. It was just like, really exciting. And if you do order it before September 2nd or whatever, then you get the uh, special stuff. And I get that it's not much, but it's Sims. I'll take anything we can get. Can you give this puppy a bath when you're done or no? Him's very dirty. Wait, maybe, he, is he dirty again? I can't tell. I think he is. Might be his coloring. Hi, buddy. Hi. I've waited so long for farming. We've had to do so much pretend farming. Like, yes, we have gardening, but that's been broken too anyways. He loves him. Basil. Here. Does he need a bath? Can you just go give him a bath real quick? It looks like we need some dinner. I feel like Susan just wouldn't make them dinner anymore. There's teenagers. But Wendy's kind of busy. How about one of you? The kids break if I have them use the stove. Oh my gosh, this kitchen's disgusting. But you should be able to uh, serve like salad. Although that broke last time too, so we'll have to see. I don't think he's cleaning the puppy. I'm gonna try to have him clean this up because it won't let me click and drag these into the trash. It won't let me delete them. They're just kind of stuck. Oh, look at him go. Perfect kitchen for bad pufferfish. <laughs> 
Would be a shame if we, uh, yeah, see, it won't even let my kids make food anymore. Even with the mod, they just glitch out and set it down. I don't know if it's because of the way the kitchen is set up or if it's just glitched. I will have you come resume this. Um, could you maybe repair this? The problem is they glitch out when they try to clean, but I can't do anything with those platters. Wait. Yeah, no, nothing. They're stuck. <laughs> Sad. I don't know what to do. I'm pretty sure I can't delete them. Can I delete them in here? Let's see. I feel like I've tried, but maybe not. Oh, we can. Okay, we're good. I can't delete the plates. All right, those are gone. I think those were the only ones that were out. Woo! I would love if they would fix that in the game too. That'd be nice. Repair. Just put all these away. Pretend somebody washed them because they won't. Hello, Richie, how are you? And hello, Mama Mia, Mama Mia. We have so much dust everywhere. The only, like the ashes. The only thing I can think of is it's from Michael. He must just like full on burn things. I don't know. I don't know where that plate just went. I don't know if it actually went in the sink. Oh well. Michael, would you like to come out and play? Could you summon Michael, please? Yeah, could he just burn up all the plates? Thanks. Although, I can't even clean the ashes, so I've just decided we're just gonna keep them dirty. Because trying to get them to do anything like that just freezes them all. Come out to play, Evangeline! Is she doing it? Why isn't she doing anything? Hello? Susan? Michael's out. Is Evangeline already out somewhere? Weird. I have some real weird UI glitches lately. I so badly just want to remove all the mods from my game and like put them back in one by one, but I have too many. Oh, Wendy's gonna go talk to Michael? What? This should get interesting. Ah, noosh, noosh. <laughs> Redaba. <laughs> noosh guma. <laughs> With a gloss. Is this a good or a bad conversation? Oh, he's leaving. He's out. He's going to the pig. See ya. Oh, he's stomping in there. Let's sell this. See, we keep having random parts places too. I literally don't know what's causing all of these things. Is it the dog because the dog hunts? For the parts? I don't know. Him's in here right now. Okay, you don't need this homework. We've got all kinds of things in our inventories, don't we? Sell off. All of that, please. Can't sell those, darn. Did you properly make some food? Let's call everyone to a meal and then send them off to bed because it's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Go. Then I don't know who's bringing back all of that stuff. Because it's randomly around everywhere and it's around where he is so I just feel like it's from the dog. Look at all them chickens. Soon we'll have really real chickens. Michael, have you seen Evangeline? Because I'm a little confused. Can we like, can we shift click them or something to go find them? Where are you, ma'am? Do 
Teleport lot sim to this sim. Teleport world sim to this sim. Uh... Everyone go get your late, 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 late dinner because Susan doesn't care about you anymore. Very grumpy. Where's the rest of you? On your way, on your way. You're in the schoolhouse? Okay, keep going. All right, they're getting their food and then we'll send them off to bed. Yeah, this room is the room that got singed the other day when we logged back in. Are we having a rodent rave party up here? Wait, what? Pascal, are you lonely? Oh no. You know what? We'll have Juniper come up to you after she eats. She'll take care of you. Please don't die before she gets up there. That'll be so sad. Theodore, when you're all done... We'll send you to bed. I'm not even gonna try to make them sleep tonight. We're just gonna have them nap because there's no way. And it's already almost 3 a.m. for them. Why aren't you eating? Where are you? Sir? Oh. Okay. You can go to sleep, though. You can sleep. Have the girls nap. Oh, there's Evangeline! She is out! Oh, Poor Evangeline. And then Juniper, you have a special mission. Is someone trying to clean dishes? Is that why you're all glitched out? It appears as if my game is paused and it's not. Come on, there you uh -huh. go. There we go. You can do it, Sims. Ah, nice. That's another reason why I feel like I just need to remove all my CC. <laughs> Not to, like, get rid of it, but to, like, only put in what I'm using and need. I just feel like I have a lot of broken- Ooh, things. Who are you? So many ghosts on this lot. So many plates, too. Ew. Let's do some plate management here. Looks like Susan wants to go talk to some- Wait! Evangeline's gonna ask her advice even as a ghost? With her pufferfish? <laughs> I wanna be a ninja when I grow up. Oh, listen. Listen, child. Start practicing your hiding. Realistically, she's great at hiding. Fish! Hmm, okay. Let's see. This, I'm just gonna drag to the trash. Don't want to deal with it. Susan? Chat with Evangeline? Ah, dear Koi. She Time hates you. Grenoi bars. Jeer her. Bougie. I don't even know what that means. Nimenu. Ask what her problem is. Cobla Larkim! What's your problem, Barrage. Evangeline? Ugh. Hey, this okay. drama is my fault, at least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between us. You, being murdered by your mother? Yeah, well. It would make you be pretty upset. Jeer. Mean. Yell at. Why aren't you doing what I say? Infaliness, Wabarani Bayumi, squirmish! Jeer. Malspec, Mopsy Vombo. Shall forbidden words? Oh. I want to make her hate her so that Evangeline will haunt her. You can still parent a ghost. I can punish a ghost. Oh. For no. Oh. Pelnoy. All right, well, she's angry now. It looks like everyone's asleep except Juniper. Juniper did take care of Pascal. We'll just have Juniper sleep up here tonight. Did she just get bit? Oh boy. 
And then Juniper dies of rodent, ra ra rabid rodent fever. Juniper, no, I have to move this, ignore that. Susan, clean up, wait, where are those dishes? Because I will gladly remove them to help with some lag. Oh, are they outside maybe? Yeah. You're killing off Juniper? No. It was a joke, because she just got bit by Pascal, and technically he's a rodent, so... I'm moving into the fancy room, see ya! Well, I have that room locked off from Susan, so... But the kids are allowed in? I like to think that Evangeline locked it from Susan, but, um, lets any of the kids come in, because now she knows the extent of the story. So... And someone has to take care of Pascal. I mean, if she dies, she dies, but... I'm not planning to kill her off. We already had a recent death. I'm just looking for random objects on the lot. Making sure all the extra stuff is cleaned up. Okay. Let's, uh, while they're sleeping, actually. Let me send Susan to bed. I know it's 5 a.m., but... We'll let them sleep in a little bit. Basil's aging up! What? 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 Oh, guys! His puppy phase is already over. You guys ready to see big, big dog? You guys ready? Michael's here for it. He's here for the birthday. Already? I think it's only like two or three days in, in normal age span for the dogs. That's why like I love custom aging in this game, but it's so much work. But it makes things make sense. Forget fighting over Theodore. They'll be fighting over who gets to sleep in Evangeline's room. Yes. Alright, I'm ready, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, him so big! Basil has grown from a puppy to an adult dog. He can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks, and start learning tricks. If not neutered, he can now mate with other dogs. Hooray for Basil! So, does he look like he's really dirty? He has his parents coloring, right? The custom one? Through, through his dirt. Looks like it. That's a good looking pup. Yeah, you really can't do much with puppies. That's very true. They're just extremely cute. Aww. And I have the mod on so kids can take him for a walk. And now he'll be able to go inside and go up all the stairs. So he'll cause a lot more chaos now. And we can take him swimming. Swim with. We can bring the dog now, right? Yes. Aw. Oh, we'll take him swimming. And I don't have any doors locked for him. I should probably... Well... These would count as being locked for him, right? Or do dogs not count for these? All dogs. Okay. Um, I feel like Susan's gonna keep him locked out of her room. that count then and then he can't go up ladders anyways right yeah that, that makes sense so he can't get up into the tower um the front door unlock i would like to unlock it for the dog but i don't It should let him in, right? I think. We'll have to test it. Because I want him to have, like, free roam. Although, she might lock him off from this room. So, I guess we'll just see what it does. I just want it to be easy enough for him to get places. Because there, he's going to be probably running around the whole place. And he has his big doggy house still. It'll be good. I think we can still bathe him in here. Yeah, I think he'll just sit up. Now, where are you? You're going for another nap? While they're still sleeping, I want to clean out inventories. Also, it's Monday. So, I know I just gave them money for the previous Monday because I'm pretty sure we forgot. Let me sell all of that off. Can we not sell that? Ooh, okay. Look, he's in the house! 
Oh, I want to see where he's going. He's probably going to bark and wake people up and it's just going to be hysterical. Forget the inventory. Where are you going? He looks sad. Is he sad? He's sneaking. He says, I'm going to go surprise the kids. I'm big now. I'm all grown up. Hello, is anybody up here? Oh, look at him go. He's gonna go wake someone up, I just know it. Guess what, oh. everybody, it's my birthday! Oh no, he's afraid of the fire, I think. It's okay. Oh. Is he going to sleep? <gasps> he came up to the boys' room and went to sleep. My heart, it's full. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh. He grew all up and went and found the boys. It is the boys' room, and Basil is a boy, so I guess it makes sense. That's so precious. Is Flynn ready to get up? Flynn, come uh, come get up and go go see Basil, because now we get all the big dog interactions. <laughs> He's like my puppy. It's his birthday. Wakey, wakey. Aww. Oh, come back. He is on the move. Go hug him. Come back. Where'd you go? Hello? He's too busy. All right, we'll let him do his thing then. Um, let's get some showers rolling. They should do school today, but I guess really I'm just gonna have them work on some skilling, which would be their school. I mean, their schooling is basically life skills with some extra learning here and there. Go use the bathroom and clean the tub and then take a shower, please. You look like you need to finish your nap. You need a nap. Finish your nap and then come take a shower. Looks like the girls might be awake. Oh, the dog's waking them up. Yeah. Oh. We should probably teach him not to bark them awake. I already have enough issues with them sleeping. Oh, he's not potty trained though. Let's lecture about waking up. And then ask him to go potty because he never learned. He's probably been holding a pee for a few weeks. He says, wake up girls, good morning. Oh no, don't yell at him. Alright, I think he's going potty. Hopefully. Oh no, he left before she could ask him to go potty. Where are you going now? <laughs> He's so active. Oh goodness. All right, Evelyn. Let's take care of the girls now. You need to go use the bathroom. Well, she's allowed to use Susan's, but she doesn't as often. Go clean Susan's toilet and then you can um, take a bath in there while you're there. You can come use, take a quick bath. Do you need to clean this at all? Nope. Finish your nap and then come do the same. And you too. Oh wait, she's up in the tower. She is up in the tower here. Ooh, it's nasty. Use and then you can have Evangeline's and I would say Evangeline had bubble bath in there still so we'll have her take a bubble bath Maybe Juniper will take over this room since she is the youngest or we could just uh, have them rotate who's ever's in the room <laughs> Hello Alex froggy, what's up? Okay they should all be pretty busy. Where's the pup at? He's down here. Wait, did she still come down to tell him to go potty even though that was canceled? Oh man, why are you like this? Since you're here, please tell him to go potty. <coughs> Listen, buddy. Go pee pee outside, thank you. Bye bye. Go. 
Yay, he learned how to pee outside so we don't have to worry about it now. Woo! I don't know what toilet she was supposed to use, but I'm gonna assume the first one. And then let's finish some inventory management. Um, this can be thrown away. You've got a lot going on here. Did you actually shower? It doesn't look like you did. Oh, he did. Never mind. Sell off these. Can't sell that one. Okay. Is that trash can full? Put it in that one. And then put the toy down since you're a teen now. The rest you can keep. That's fine. Sell off all of this. The rest is fine. Sell off all of that. The rest is fine. Sell off all of that. Thank you. Oh, we need to have someone woodwork. I keep forgetting that every time. And we don't have as many boys this time. Maybe... I mean, we're trying to get him fishing so he can hurry up. Maybe Theodore will woodwork? Aw, our other Theodore used to woodwork too. Maybe this Theodore can uh, learn guitar to level five and then woodwork. That'd be cute. Okay, inventories are all taken care of. Good, good. Basil? Where are you off to? He's an active dog. They will frequently want to run around, chase things, and nap less. Not using that for redacted. What are you doing? I'm sure I could start guessing, but I'll just let it be a surprise. I thought we fed Pascal. Juniper, this is an emergency. Feed Pascal. You don't understand. Pascal withers away within hours. <laughs> oh no. Feed him, give him a treat. Talk to him. Play with him. Okay, and then, um, then you can use this bathroom after you clean it. And then you can take a bubble bath. Well, ha yeah, take a bubble bath, that's fine. Is everyone else still busy? Who is able to go cook breakfast? Looks like it's gonna be Wendy. Serve breakfast, eggs and toast. We'll do that for the kids. Um, hey, you're up, you're up. Can you come give him a bath? He's really dirty, again. It won't let me give him a bath, do you see this? Oh, wait. It should work. Me. Bath time, buddy. <laughs> it's bath time. You're so stinky. You need one. You can't even see your coloring. It's just all dirt. I want to see. I assume they sit up in this one. You guys ready? This is our CC well, bath. Oh. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> We're just washing the front end. Maybe we need the other tin that's longer for for big dogs. Hold on, I'm gonna cancel his animation real quick. Him's got too big for this one. I wanna try the tin one because it looks more like a bathtub. So this one must work really well for puppies, kittens, or cats. Can you bathe a cat in this game? Maybe not. Small dogs probably and puppies. Um, let's try the other one. Cause we got two yesterday. And we'll just, I know it looks plastic because it probably is supposed to be. But just pretend that it's more so metal. And we will, um, I'll go put this one in the barn for now. We might have puppies again, you never know. We'll just kind of like store it. But it would still be usable here. Okay. Big puppy boy. 
Let's try this one, because I think he can stand in there correctly. I'm sure we're only at 13 babies in this challenge. Like, I'm sure we'll have some more puppies oh, at some point. <laughs> Get in, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. He's like, we just tried a bath and my whole butt stuck out. Finish by a... Perfect. All right, so this one, it works for toddlers too, but it works really nice for big dogs. Oh, oh I kiss. love it. <laughs> Look at him loving his dog. <laughs> and he looks so real. Cats and dogs is fun. The most annoying part of cats and dogs is that um, it takes up a spot in your family. In Sims 3, you had a separate, like, amount of pets you could have, right? It was separate from your normal eight. At least that's what I remember. But in Sims 4, it's combined. So if you have a big family, unless you have cheats on, it's impossible to have pets. But the actual cats and dogs are really cute and awesome. <laughs> so. <laughs> Worth it. Wendy, did you make food? Thank you, Wendy. You know what? I feel like since Wendy's kind of running the kitchen right now, that she would clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna have her clean this before she calls to meal. Um, call to meal and eat. Just call everybody. How's everyone doing on their baths? It looks like everyone peed and had a bath. Wow, my Sims listened to me today. Susan needs social. I know Susan loves the cows, so I'm gonna have her go hang out with them because we don't want her. She probably needs to go around and yell at people. Does Evelyn like fitness? All right, we're gonna go do a coin flip because I keep forgetting that we want to try to randomize these more. Um, we'll do head she likes it and no she doesn't, okay? Ready? Set? Go. Heads yes, tails no. She does not like fitness. Perfect. No. Um, you're gonna get ready to eat in a second, so we'll just wait for her to call to meal mood. <laughs> I like fitness, like, sometimes, like, fun fitness, Whoa. but, <laughs> you know. Look, he's all clean. We can see his coloring now. Should we have him take him for a walk? We'll see how long the walk is. Go on a short walk, and let's see how long that will be. You want to go for a walk? And then Flynn can have breakfast when he gets back. He's so cute. Looks like a proper German Shepherd, too. Oops. Rip my mic. Hi, Crow. How are you? Oh, I hit my mic again. <laughs> Sorry. Are you gonna go on a walk? Did it cancel out? Why? Wait, do I have you guys locked in? Um, hold on. Oh, it's actually not locked. Uh, okay, so you should be able to go on a walk. Maybe him's hungry. Try again. It's a nice little German pepper. Look at him in the field. Aww. What do you want? You look sad. Mom, thank you for that gift sub. Ven, welcome home. Ignore the super modern leash. That is totally just rope to a leather collar. I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, he doesn't even have a collar. Do you not like it? Oh, woo! should we give him a collar real quick? Let's do it. Oh, we need to save the house with him as a big dog, too. Hype. I guess we'll save the house when the next kid ages up. He'll be a big dog. Katie, thank you for the bits. Mom, thank you for the bits. Way or Zuya. Hello, buddy. Would you like... Oh. I'm so cute. Thank you for those follows. Welcome in. Do you want to be... Oh, that's really cute. A space dog. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. 
He's decades appropriate, look. <laughs> Him's got a little hat on. We'll probably just give you a leather one. Something plain that they could have made. This one looks the most leather. You need it small between the ears? That'd be hysterical. Like the unicorn horn. Oh my gosh. You gonna be a shark? We'll probably just give you this one. Because this one looks like fabric. This one has studs. That one has spikes. And then there's a bow tie too, which looks very fancy too. This will be nice and plain. He's a scrawny doggy. I guess he doesn't eat that much. There was a Sims live stream for the new expansion pack. It was good. I'm excited. Good boy! All right, he's got a collar now, so it won't look so silly with the leash. And we don't want to lose him. On YouTube? Um, they streamed it on YouTube and Twitch. Hello, Nick. Welcome. Put a bow tie on him. You have to go to the chiropractor, but you had six or more ribs out, so it's a good thing you went. Yikes. Yeah, the gameplay for the new pack looks really good. Obviously, they only show us really quick bite-sized pieces through cheats. But we know how Sims runs, and we know how all that will go, so um, it will still be really good. Just not as easy as they make it look. Okay, buddy, let's go on a walk now. And then, one day, he was forgotten. He was only three. Mom, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Are they actually gonna leave the lot? The like, they should be able to walk around the island, though. Oh. They don't seem to want to go on a walk. And I don't really know why. <laughs> All right, no walk. You're just wasting my time now. Ven, thank you for the gift sub. We are now in a hype train. If we finish it, we'll do a sticker giveaway and we'll garden. My hat's full of dog treats, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's lounging. Hold on, hold on. She just peeked her head up at me. Getting a pup for the orphanage was the best idea ever, 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 ever. It was a good one. Katie, thank you for the bits. These are your treats. Do you see them? Haley! Oh, hi, four months. Thank you for the four month resub. Crow, thank you for the bits. Would you like a treat? Well, let me move your camera back. You've got quite the uh, area going on down there today. Kate, thank you for the gift sum. Baby Frog, thank you for the bits. Katie, thank you for the bits. We're on level 2, 85%. Come here. All aboard, friends. Good girl. Good girl. You leaving? You going for a walk? Toot toot! Okay, since I don't know why, but they won't walk the dog. I don't know if it's a pathing thing. But they're not walking. Haley, thank you for the gift sub. She blinded one eye. No, she has a really bad cataract. We need to take her to the vet for it. My puppy. I hope she's not blind. I hope they'll be able to fix it. Wait. Oh, Wendy, uh -huh. wait. How did you identify a fish? Are you talking about fish? Okay, <laughs> you guys are all supposed to do school. Um, I'm gonna have them work on skills because we're really gonna try to get some kids moved out and or aged up and moved out. But they have to get skills done. 
You could come play the violin in this room. You go eat and then work on your fishing. You need creativity. Um, I guess playing with toys would be creativity. Go play dolls and like play with this and play with this. Just go play. You are at creativity and motor, so I'll have you work on motor. You got get together, spa day, and backyard stuff. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've kind of watched it get worse. Because it started, you know, lighter. It kind of happened all at once. Like, we knew she had the starts of cataracts a while ago, because I mentioned it at the last time she went to the vet, which would have been probably over a year and a half ago. Um, and then it just kind of suddenly all came at once in that eye, and now it's pretty, pretty cloudy. And she does show that she has some vision issues, like, peripheral. Like, if you come at her from the side on that side, she can't see you or your hand, so it spooks her. But if you're from the front, she's fine, and her other eye seems to work really well. But we'll see. At this point, we'll have to do a vet visit probably when we're back from our trip. And then we'll see what they say. Crow, thank you for the bits. And then, let's see. Juniper needs to go work on... Maybe she can go swim with the dog. Work on her motor skill. Wait, kids can't swim with the dog, but adults can? I don't understand this game. <laughs> Why? He's just gonna be in the pool. And then, one day, oh, he's just he not popping up now. He was only three. He's only pop up with adults? Is he not considered on the lot now? I'm so confused. Weird. I'm not taking her with me, no. Nope. She'll be here with Thomas. Katie, thank you for the bits. Crow, thank you for the bits. Two minutes on that hype train. I don't know why he can't swim now. Juniper, call him to you. Um... Is everyone busy now? You need to be busy. That sounds good, Haley. Have a good sleep. I know I'm gonna miss her too. You ready to garden? If you wanna garden and do a sticker giveaway, we gotta finish the train. Juniper? Can you go swim with the dog now? Why, why, why? Where is he? Does the game think he's on a walk? Because he's not moving either. I think the walk glitched them out. Here. Let's try again. I will get to go cuddle a baby, so it will be worth it. But I will miss my, my baby. And I'll miss Thomas. And the kitty cat. But I'll be back. Flynn. Come eat. Grab a serving. 40 seconds on the train. And then go fish, please. And then Juniper, can you... Go here? I don't even think it worked. The walk was just completely broken. <laughs> they wouldn't leave. I'm gonna have Juniper come here and then call him over. And see if it will let the dog go in the pool. Because it, it showed up just a bit ago when I tried it. But now that I actually want them to swim, it's not showing up. Okay, the dog is next to you. There we go. Go swim with Basil. Are you guys ready? This is gonna be cute. Basil, go to the pool. The pool. The pool. The pond. Basil! Basil! Thank you guys for that hype train. I'll give up 200 points for finishing level 2. Look at them. They're playing over there. Hello, Basil? Swim with Basil. Where are you? What? Basil? <laughs> I'm gonna have to lock the gate. Basil, get back in. What the heck? Wait, is he going? Please tell me you're going to the pond. Hello, Bella. How are you? Go to the pond. The pond. The pond. The pond. That's not the pond! 
Does he not have a spot to jump in, maybe? I mean, we should have multiple spots now. Call Basil over? Let's see. I think she has to be on land. Let's try this again. He keeps getting so distracted. Go there. Call Basil. Here he comes. And then swim with Basil. I just want the pup to go in the pool. Go in. Basil, in. In, boy, in. Is he gonna jump? Jump. Oh no, he's scared. Him's too scared to swim in the pool. Oh no. Basil, come on, you can do it. He too scared. That's weird. Can I like shift click send in the pool please? Poor baby. Maybe another time. This game's quirky. Hello, that one person. How are you? No more fish in the area? Oh, no. Try again. Alright. We'll just have her swim around. She can work on her motor skill. Theodore, you're supposed to be working on your... Motor? Oh, it's level 7, actually. I'm really trying to do some skilling. We've been focusing on story so much. Skills fell behind, which is fine. But now it's our time. Go work on motor too. And then you're supposed to be working on creativity. If you want, you can come outside and play. Go play dolls with all these different dollhouses. I think playing in the sand's creativity too. Flynn's fishing. Wendy's working on violin. She looks like a teacher. It's cute. Got a new kitten? Aw, that's adorable. It's nice when you guys come back. To you guys, you might like not come back to stream and not really think much of it for a while, but like, I miss you guys. <laughs> when people leave, I'm like, where'd you go? Are they okay? Are you gonna come back? Is everything all right? So thanks for coming in. You have two cats now. That's awesome. Oh, I love them. They're just playing. What's Susan up to? Why is she in the basement? Why is she so upset? Thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Oh, I didn't realize this was still on. She's all alone in the basement. Very sad. Susan. Listen, I still want you to be a mad pianist. So if you could go just... Oh, you're too mad. Go upstairs. You've been watching Anne with an E. Ah, uh, it's amazing. That's pretty funny. Are you dirty again? Sir, you just had a bath this morning. Yeah, when you guys tell me, like if you're around a lot and you tell me like, oh, I'm gonna be going, doing this, you know, then like, at least I know you're all right. <laughs> Not that any of you have to say anything, but just know that we think about you. And uh, we do wonder where you went. Okay, everyone's still skilling? It's a skill day. Skills are going swimmingly. <laughs> I love it. Don't get eaten by bears! Oh man. Do they have bears by you, Kate? We have bears. We have a bear in town. Multiple bears. They just want love. <laughs> they just want bear love. It's gonna be so nice to have a pond. Although they can't swim in the pond, which kind of sucks, but they'll be able to play in it, so that alone will be really cool. We can still make our makeshift, like, swimming ponds, and then we'll have, like, splash ponds. With alligators! Look at all you guys doing your skills. Oh, this one's cute. I haven't seen them play with this one. They use sticks for this too. 
I could probably put this in the sandbox. Aww. I love CC. But I so badly want my CC organized. Like, it hurts me. Like, it aches in my soul. But I'm stuck. Because I obviously don't want to restart CC. Like, I do. But I can't because orphanage and then even old decades. Like, I don't want that to be where we can't go back into it. It hurts so bad. And then people come in and ask for, like, the CC list. And then I, like, don't have one anymore. Like, I have old ones, but not current ones. But when I open up my CC file now, there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of files that I have to go through individually to be able to figure out what they are and write them down. And I want to, but you know how much time that takes? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Sims livestream was very good, Nick. Although it felt really rushed. Back when we started watching Sims live streams, like in the be beginning of my streaming career, the expansion ones used to be like an hour and a half to two hours. Yeah. And now they cram everything into one hour and it's like as soon as it hits that hour, they're, they're done. So like they don't delve deep into things anymore and it's kind of weird. Can I screenshot the list? Little Mouse, you don't understand. <laughs> let, let me just uh, hold on. <laughs> let me uh... Hmm. Hmm. Documents building a modern American Japanese mix house that is for medium class. Nice. Mods. You see, I have my mod folder and it's half organized. At this point, it's not even half. It's probably like a tenth organized back when I did have it organized. There was a time when everything was completely organized and documented. So this is messy on its own. And then obviously you open these and they just go into more and more and more and more. Right? But... This is 5,953 files. Each file would be like, one file would be hair, one file would be another hair, one file would be a shirt, one file would be a chair. So in order for me to make a list at this point, I have to go through each one, figure out where I got it, which some, some are good. Like this one has the creator's name and then what it is. So it's pretty easy to find, you just Google it and you can find the webpage if it's still a thing. And then I put in the document and that's one item done. And then you go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. But I keep adding more! <laughs> <sighs> but if I cleared out and start over, that we wouldn't be able to because orphanage, all the CC would be deleted unless I got every piece back before relaunching the game. And then if we ever wanted to go back into old decades, which I'd like to have the opportunity to, it'd be gone. So... But the problem is, a lot of this I don't use, and I want it to be available so people can find it. And it's like, I just can't until I take the time to do it. But it's gotten very out of hand. So when I say I'm working on it, I am. It's just a very slow, slow, slow process. And like I said, there was one time where this was all really organized. That's why some stuff, like this folder... Like, I did a really good job. But then I stopped and started just dumping stuff into it without organizing it. And then it got really out of hand. So all of these are nice. Like, these are good. But then the rest is not. You're going in huge group camping, so you don't think a bear would want to take on a group of 30 people? Probably not. You'd be too noisy for the bear. It, the only chance a bear would come at that would probably be like in the middle of the night when you're sleeping if they want your food. An entire stream where we organize your CC. This would take weeks of streams. Weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Months. <laughs> like, I took a few hours one night to start my CC doc. Where did I put that? Let me go look. Um. Did I just, I think I pinned it in Sims, right? Yeah. I started what it's gonna be. I haven't even updated it since May 18th. <laughs> it's a daunting task, so it would be super organized. You could just click them and go to the website. But it's just a lot of work. Good, Kate. I don't want you eaten by a bear. It's a lot. But someday I'd like it to be done. <laughs> Maybe. And then the problem is I keep adding more. 
And so that doesn't help me catch up because I add more and more. You're afraid of mountain lions? Oh no. That's not good. What? What? Why? Why would somebody try to call me on Discord that's never chatted before? And it, what? During stream? Don't do that. I mean, don't do that ever because I'm not going to answer, but don't do that. Okay. I don't think they would. Animals are pretty smart. I don't think they're going to take down a whole pack of humans. Weird. Yeah, during stream, nonetheless. <laughs> First, no. Second, no. Third, no. Or are they all exhausted now? I guess it is 7 o'clock now. Maybe they could have a campfire meal since they're not super hungry and then we'll send them to bed early. Try to get them on a good schedule. We should have a birthday coming up. The twins are going to age up between Tuesday and Wednesday. Where's Susan? Susan, you stay in your room alone. The teens will take care of this. Well, if you hear a cat, <laughs> it's probably not a little house cat. Roar. Um, let's have you start it. Go light this. And, um, add a log. And then invite to hang out. Can we just, like, invite... Where's Juniper on this? Juniper? What? Invite to hang out. How weird. Invite everyone but Susan and then we're just missing Juniper. So Juniper can come over. Ah. Let's see if anyone lights on fire, shall we? Sonic Adventure 2. Fun. Don't do that. Your laptop can't handle it. Um, I might upload all the CC to my Google Drive for myself. Like, I'm not gonna send it out. So it's nothing, nothing against terms. But that would be a way that I could potentially work on organizing it while I'm on vacation. Because I'll have my laptop. So... So that could be something I could work on and then just re-put it onto my computer if I actually somehow got a lot of it done I could like copy the files back onto my computer organize So I might do that All right, is everybody coming over to the fire except Susan? And then I wish you could have like everyone roast at the same time like with one button we're gonna roast marshmallows! In bed- wait, did I click veggie dog? Veggie- hot dog. Nope. I feel like when we start having teens and all the trauma Susan just put herself through, like... She's kind of keeping her distance. I'll roast hot dog. Oops. Roast hot dog. Oh, you already are, sorry. Roast hot dog. I made really good biscuits last night. Some of you might remember because I posted it in Discord. I, I might have talked about it, but I, a couple weeks back, ordered from the store the Red Lobster gluten free cheesy biscuit mix. And I finally made it last night. I was making mac and cheese, and I'm like, you know what? Would biscuits and mac and cheese be weird? And Tom's is like, no, do it. And so I made them, and you actually add your own cheese to it and everything, and it had a garlic butter sauce. They're amazing. They were so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Who's next? You? Roast hot dog? They were really good. And then uh, I made 9. It said it makes 10 to 12, and I made 9, which fit the pan, so it worked. So we have some extras. I saved the garlic butter sauce too, but obviously, you know, it re-solidifies. Um, so if I want that, I'm gonna have to melt it again. But just in case. They taste really good without the sauce too. They're just really nice. And I was afraid that I didn't cook them long enough, but they were perfect. 
Good biscuit. Hello, you need to sit down too. Roast your marshmallow. He's busy telling stories. Oh, look at him. That's all our kids right now, and they're not sitting on top of each other. Like American biscuits, silly, not cookies. The biscuits is literally bread with cheese in it. And they're like, you know, crumbly when you bite into them. And my kitchen smells nice and garlicky, even still. I know the new pond is amazing. I definitely want to add a lot to orphanage. And I also will be introducing another challenge. I'm not telling you yet. But when, when the new pack comes out. But obviously not till I get back. But we will start that. And we'll have this. But I don't want to completely redo our lot. But I will... I don't know, it's gonna be rough because I want to add in the new cows on the slot and stuff, but those have big buildings. I guess we could put them in our current cow farm. Did you not eat? Who's done eating? Do you want to tell them all a story? Here, add a log and tell us a ghost story about a sobbing woman named Susan. Okay. Why is... One of the kids not showing up here. I'm so confused. My game's like bugged. Bye. Oh no! Bye. Well, <laughs> go jump in the pond. Go jump in the pond. Oh lord. Can you uh, put that fire out? Thank you. Well, that was an exciting campfire. <laughs> no, guys, you don't have to all run away. Sims, please. Oh. oh, I love The Sims 3. But when I go back to it, it's like the nostalgia and memories are better in my mind. Because when I go back to it, like the actual graphics and the way it runs on your computer is poo-poo. But I would love the gameplay with Sims 4 graphics. But in my mind, my memories of Sims 3 are much clearer and nice. Scones are different. We researched that. Biscuits and scones, the way they're made are, are different. <laughs> okay. Um, well, they're all gonna run away and do whatever they want, apparently. It's bedtime for them anyways, so... Up you go. Where's Susan? I like to think that Susan's stuck in her thoughts of murdering her child, you know? And I would love if her child would come haunt her. She can write a song now? Ooh. We'll wait till she can write a sad song, and we'll have her write a sad song and name it Evangeline. Speaking of her, um, I need to make it so that she doesn't have a birthday. Hold on. She is cursed to stay this age until she has all these orphans, so... Set this back to zero. Go practice, and then let's get everyone queued up to go to bed. So they actually did work on skills today. Let's take a peek at those two. Hers is taking a while because adult skills take way longer. But we're trying to get her violin to 10. And then we'll probably do cooking to 5 because she's been cooking. And then she has to do a school project still. If we want to age her up early, which she still has a week, so that should be fine. Flynn, I'm trying to do his fishing, and his secondary will probably end up being fitness if he's, like, swimming and stuff. Um, Evelyn, we're trying to do creativity, and I guess motor or social are almost to five. What's your name? Madeline, probably gonna max motor, and then creativity would be secondary. His motor's almost max, and then we'll do creativity secondary, because it's almost five. And then Juniper, same thing, motor and probably creativity. That's their closest skills currently. So that went well. Oh, I know. I would love if they would do that. I would love if they released Sims 2 again like they did before. Because I wasn't like actively playing at the time. So I didn't know about that. And I missed out on it. When you could download all the Sims 2 from um, Origin. So if they could just bring that back for a bit. Let people download it. Bring Sims 3 back. Do the same thing. Let people download it. Like, why not? People are still gonna play and buy Sims 4 even if those are there. They just get to play all of it. It'd be amazing. 
please to bed some of them still aren't tired I really don't understand like I feel like her energy today didn't even go down at all unless she napped I guess I feel like she must have you can take a quick shower before bed because you just got lit on fire so I think we'll let that you know happen and then you kids go use the bathroom and nap go use the bathroom and nap some of them didn't really eat, it doesn't look like, but, uh, it's fine. Napping is fun! <laughs> How's your nap going, Haley? Sims 3 wasn't optimized? Yeah, and every time you launch Sims 3, it's like, you probably shouldn't play with more than one expansion pack. And I'm like, really? <laughs> Puts all of them in. <laughs> really? You really think I'm not gonna play with more than one expansion? Hmm. Hmm. Um, go use the toilet and then go to swell. You're gonna nap too. Go! Oh, wait, we forgot Juniper. Juniper's gonna go to her tower. You're not napping too well? Oh no. I saw we. Go uh, play with Pascal. Sasha wants attention. Go use the bathroom and then go to sleep. I still need to move that. I'd love if Sims 3 was optimized more. But then I'd still have an issue with the graphics, but at least you could like play it for nostalgia purposes more easily. I have almost all the discs behind me. And I did get them all working on my computer, um, but then I changed my hard drive over, so now I'd have to redo it. And I haven't taken the time to. And I actually have a couple of my old Sims 3 saves on this computer because I had copied them from whatever computer before. I think my laptop. Oh no, did you pass out? Oh heck. But there weren't anything extensive. So either my memory of what I did in Sims is less than I think, or there was just more saves than those. Because I know I used to play on my parents' desktop because that was like our only computer. So I'm assuming that's where my main saves were. And then I did get a laptop when I was older and still played Sims 3. And I don't think I had as many saves on there. But it was interesting to open them because I'm like, what was I even doing? <laughs> and they were all named things from like TV shows. No proper scales. Yeah, some things are pretty weird. But then you get used to it and you kind of forget. Like now I've been playing Sims 4 since it came out. Well, when it first came out, I played it. I was excited. I hated it because it was new and weird. And then I switched back to Sims 3 until they released Toddlers. And then I went back to Sims 4 and, and stayed with Sims 4. Oh no, you're so dirty again. Whoa. And he's scared. Why aren't you listening to me, children? Go nap. It's okay, puppy, it's okay. Wait, why are you going to the basement? I'm so confused. I've told you all where to sleep. Are you up in Evangeline's room? Yep. Juniper's like, I have found this tower all to myself. Amazing. Soon I'll add, like, spooter webs in here. Aw, oh, she could use the typewriter. Yeah, it'd be like that little mouse. Especially because now they're competing with other games that do the same kind of thing. So it's different. And you can get everything digitally now. You don't have to go to the store and, like, pick them up every time. So it's easier for them to just release quick content, like the kits. You don't have to go buy it, you just get it online. Yeah, the customization can be a little weird, but I don't know. It be that way. I know there's lots of mods for some custom sliders to give you more range for your sims. And there's more to, like, more you can do to your sims when you manipulate, like, the way that they look. But, um, it's hard. <laughs> it takes a lot. So I just kind of go with whatever we have. 
Go take yourself a bath of soaks and go to sleep. It's officially Madeline's birthday, so we must have already gotten the pop-up for her sister. So they should age up Tuesday night. Tuesday night, Evelyn should age up, and then Wednesday morning, like right after, it should be Madeline. And then we'll get to edit them and give them some new outfits. That'll be cute. Well, it's rough. There's a lot of stuff in Sims 3 they didn't put in Sims 4, but it's because they also had a whole other team working on Sims 4. And if you read this really long article, I had it pinned somewhere before. Sims 4 is not what it was supposed to be. It originally was going to be multiplayer and everything else, and then they changed that last minute, and that's why it was missing so much. Puppy. That sounds good, little mouse. Ah, uh, they're all sleeping again. Where's our pup at? All this puppy wants to do is play in trash piles. Yeah, I don't know if I ever pinned that. I remember sending it in Discord. Um... It would have been a while ago. It was very eye-opening. Is it pinned anywhere? No, probably not. Oh, it was probably in our old Sims chat. You know what? It's probably archived. Hello, Luna. Of course, of course. You get to be their chauffeur. Bought Sims 3 seasons when you were 8 or 9 from the game stops nearby. When they scammed you, the code didn't work. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. My old Sims chat. Is in here? Sims. I wonder if it's in here. I still didn't pin it. Darn! That would have made things so easy. Well, if I ever find that article again, I'll repost it. It was a while ago, but it was really cool. Um, hello? Someone just honked outside. Dog, are you okay? Wait, why is Susan out here? What? Tell story to chick. Wait, what? Oh, the dog needs food and water, but I don't think Susan would do that. Susan, what what mean things can you do to the dog? Scold for paying in trash? Because I don't want Susan and the dog to be friends. This is the children's dog. This dog runs before Wait, the Sims ew. can interact with it. <laughs> and can you just tell him to lay down? Because I want to see him lay down anyways. I feel like that would be what Susan would do. Oh, here we go. Juniper woke up in the middle of the night with a nightmare that she forgot to feed the dog. Well, come here, Juniper. <laughs> it's true, you did. Go feed the dog, please. Ooh, ooh, drip. Is he gonna go into his doggy house? I wanna see it. Alubar. Go in, go in. It's cozy. It's cozy. Finlay? No. Oh, film it again. Oh, Can he not get in? Oh, Is that why he doesn't go in there? Um, hmm. Are the plants too close, maybe? Let's try this. How about now? Go in! <laughs> Grump! Oh, Zuri! The doggy house doesn't work! <laughs> I'm not sure why. Is Susan too close? Wait, why are you- why is everyone awake? Did you just go wake her up? Oh, man. <sighs> go fill the bowl. Wendy? It's 2 a.m. and you're pretty wide awake, but just go back to sleep, please. Not ready for you. Whip a soak! Oh, Pamela! 
It doesn't work. All right, Susan, go to bed. I don't even know why you're up. I don't even know how that happened. Go to bed, 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 go to bed. Bye. Why can't kids brush the dog? It's kind of weird. Oh. It's okay. Juniper will take care of you. Look, food and water. Um, you forgot the food. You forgot the food. They play in. <laughs> I love Taru. Voma. <laughs> Hug him. Get to know. Oh, there's brush. I see brush now. Apparently, it's not in pet care. It's not friendly. <laughs> Sweet boy. No, come back. You run away so quick. Oh, we give you a hug. Oh, big dog hug. Think that follow will come in. You're gonna brush him? Maybe? Hello? Wakey, wakey! Oh, cool, no? he's got. Oh, there we go. Look! Giving him a brush. Help with his hygiene, even just a little bit. Are you gonna be bestest buds with this doggy? Um, talk to? Give him a nice pet. It looks like she's awake. Madeline woke up to go talk to the monster under the bed in the tower. I'm just gonna let it happen. Children. All right, I'm gonna go take my break because um, it's way past my two hour break. And I need to pee. I need some water too. All right, let's save this. We'll get Bike Amuble up. I'll go take a break. If you guys need one, go take one yourself. If you want to gamble, now is a great time to gamble. Unless my bot's broken. Bot? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, how about now? All right, now is not, oh, wait, wait. Now is a great time to gamble. There you go. Break. There you go, bot's back. I will be right back. Go take a break if you need one, and we'll return. It's nine in the city, and I'm on my way back home. Humming on my favorite ditty, swinging like Natalie Cole. But then out of the blue, who strolls down the boulevard but you? Your place is closer than mine. Why don't we go there and have some more wine? Cause life is for living. Let's see.
top of Mount Everest. I've sailed the seven seas. I've shared the stage with all the best. A lot of good it did for me. I've walked the wall of China. Walked till my feet were sore. Came home to Carolina and found my love next door. Fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a very lot of fun. Growing up is just a trap. Don't it seem like a trap? Growing up is just a big fat trap. I take pride in ever working a day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think of such a load of crap? Growing up is just a trap.
Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling like the tide And the match that drew a spark was a single stolen kiss And if that ain't love I've kept my feelings grounded And gone without all kip within By these high walls I've been surrounded Walls to her eyes only paper thin Now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heartstrings are pulling Like the turning of the tide And the match that drew the spark Was a single stolen kiss And if that ain't love Just got eyes. 
just got ice for you. I've just got ice for you. Something. Do you want a treat? Said you back. I want a treat, please. You want a treat? I got you, ma'am. Can you sit? Speak. Good girl. Good girl. Let me love you. Come back. Okay, where were we? Dog, dog loving. Too bad you can't bathe the dog. Okay, we better have you go back to bed though, cause um, it's 5 a.m. and you haven't slept much. And you could use a shower, but I guess you can have one in the morning. Did you all sleep much? No. Go back to sleep. You can get up and go make breakfast for everybody. You can get up and yes, use the bathroom, take your shower, and I guess get out to fishing until it's time to eat. You need to sleep. You need to sleep. You need a shower. Go shower and then you can eat too. All right, go in, go in. She's been brushing that dog for like three hours. <laughs> go in. Go inside. Is he in the way? Go here. Now go to your bed. Please? Go to bed. Go to bed. Nothing? How about now? Go to bed. There we go. You're not supposed to go eat yet. Can you go? Go fish a little bit. He's going to go fish. She has finished food. This one's bad though. No, nope, stop trying to go eat hot dogs. Those are old. Go put this away. Is this still clean? Or just have it cancel everything out. That's fine. Fish. 
There we go. Put this laundry away. Stop going to the hot dog. No hot dog, it's gone. Ooh. There we go. Now. I guess call to meal. I feel like we should wait just a little bit so that they can sleep a little longer. Go ahead and do this laundry. We'll wait on food just a little bit. You need to get up and take a shower. You need to, well, I guess you don't need to shower, so you could just sleep a little extra. You're really gonna need a shower. Susan, where are you? You're awake? Oh. Come downstairs, you can have your breakfast now. <laughs> Go grab a serving. Oops. There you go. And then we'll let her get up. It looks like we should be good. Except her, but she's gonna have to sleep in a little bit. Otherwise, she's not gonna get through her day very easily. Who wants to come call this to meal? Hello, Nick. I thought I was all alone. Go call to meal and eat. Call everyone except Susan because she's already on her way. Hello! And then I'm probably just gonna have them work on skills again because I'm trying to get them like caught up with all the lovely days that they miss. Uh, finishing boring work? Uh, Yuck. Yuck. Oh, you are. Food, 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 food. Come eat. Don't eat yet. Um, finish your current nap and then go. You're gonna have to get up, so. <sighs> that was very evil. Mika. Well then. Mashka. No! 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 Uh, not again! At least it's a, it's a different color bear this time. It's a red one. Please go take a shower. Yes, no! Very angry bear. Oh no. Pierces your soul. Where would you even get something like that in this orphanage? You wouldn't. <laughs> That's it, you wouldn't. Goodness, can you go give Basil a bath? Is he pooping on the fishing? Yummy. Poo poo fish, okay. Susan, I need you to go work on your piano. That's gonna be your skill. Wendy, I need you to go work on the violin. That's your skill. You can't, all right, go here. Flynn, go give the dog a bath. I'll worry about you after. Evelyn, that brings up your ment- Oh, wow. Wait, whoa. I didn't know this toy was mental skill. That's actually really good to know. Because it's like impossible to get their mental up. 
without homework in school. I mean, we can use the chess table. Fishing is technically mental for some reason. I feel like fishing would be more of a motor skill, but whatever. Um, huh, well I need you to work on your creativity though. So maybe repair this and then play dolls. Play with this. Love! Hi! Heck, love you very much. How has it been over a year? I love you, I don't know. Thank you for the 13 month resub, which is technically your actual year because you know, they start at the beginning of the month. That's crazy. You are mental to fish. Yeah. The idea of like fishing and it seems like peaceful and cool and stuff, but I don't like the actual fact that you hook a fish and like, even if you're gonna release them, that fish is now hurt. So it freaks me out. It's kind of like hunting just in water. You were ill again yesterday? Oh, man. What did you miss? Uh, we had to re-kill Evangeline so that we could have her ghost with her, with her, uh, urn. Uh, we got a puppy who's now a dog. We gave every orphanage family one of the puppies. <laughs> just for fun. That was the biggest things that happened. Besides that, I'm really working on their skills. We're trying to, like, make bigger age gaps, so I'm trying to get Wendy out. So we can get a baby earlier. Ah, uh, the twins. It's almost their birthday. I'm trying to think if anything else crazy happened yesterday. I feel like it wasn't super crazy. Because the first hour was us trying to kill her again. <laughs> it was so bad she just wouldn't die. Um, sometimes I get so angry. Scream into a pillow. There you go. He's getting a bath again, but he'll be dirty in 0.5 seconds. Yeah, like the first save that we didn't end up saving, she ate a whole eight plates. It didn't work and the game was so glitched, so we just canceled out of that, didn't save it, reopened it, did it again, and it only took a plate or two. <laughs> and then it re-killed her. So we would have her actual ghost so not in our household. So, her new urn is in this room. Because this is technically the room she died in this time. So it kind of adds to the spooky factor in here. And her old urn is technically still hers, but we have it in the family inventory because it was getting real weird. So she kind of died twice. But not really, not for the story she didn't die twice, but for us she died twice. You're in hour two of her thunderstorm? Ooh. No worries. Did you really crow? Oh, I'm so excited. I've got plans. Evelyn should be aging up any minute. Madeline should be aging up right after her. The train set is so bugged when you have it around something. It's kind of sad. Like, she is getting her skill. But if it's not around something, they actually, like, kind of interact a little bit. But when it's around something, they freak out. Oh well. It looks cute. Susan's up. Tell a heroic story to the chicken coop. No. Go play chess. Oh, Wendy's milking the cows. I love when they autonomously do that stuff. Flynn, aren't you supposed to be fishing? Oh, I guess I never told them what to do after, did I? Go use the bathroom out here, and you're getting pretty sleepy. Go fishing for a bit. Juniper is not doing what? 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 I thought. Okay, she. I thought she was already eating, but she's up in the tower. Madeline sleeping on the bench seems legit. I love having these outhouses. It's so much easier to get them to go to the bathroom. Let me tell you. You can swing for a while and then play. Oops, that's hangout. Get that motor skill up. Shh. 
chest. Wendy, what are you up to? You need to work on your violin. Flynn, you're supposed to be fishing. Are you going fishing? Tell a story to Chicken Coop. No, go fish. How many times must I tell you? Yeah, just play with this dollhouse for a while for your creativity. You're working on some stuff. Theodore is supposed to go fish. And then Juniper should be eating and not dying. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. Everyone's accounted for. Juniper's darling. Hello, Susan. Um, where are you? Are you in the outhouse? Oh, she went inside to wash her hand. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? What? Where are you going? Hold up, hold up, hold up, stop. Swing. Swing. Flynn just caught a cooler out of our pond. Excuse me? I think he's scared. Can we take care of him? Calm down. Don't run away from us. Swing K. Oh. Three. Get sports. Pet. Stop running! <laughs> he makes it so hard to do anything to him. We'll talk to him. Hug. Get to know. Rough house. There you go. Show some love. Dog hug. <laughs> Everyone still busy? Oh, sleep. Let's Duh. keep busy, children. <laughs> You're gonna probably have to nap. You are not making it through the day. Go nap in the church. Duh. That'll be fine. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is getting all his interactions up. Friends of the animal. Friends, friend of the animals. That one. You two can come fish for a while. That sounds good to me. Honestly, these two could come fish too if they want. Hi, Kristen. How are you? Why don't you both come fishing? Because we can have four people fish here. And everyone else can just stay busy. About to play some Sims. Sims? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. We're just skilling kids. No crazy story right now. I mean, the story is always going on, but... Nothing crazy currently. And I'm waiting for the twins to age up. That way we can go into cast with them. Actually, let me get a good look at them before they do. So, um, Evelyn is our good kid, and... Oh yeah, they both have nose freckles. And then she has her hair braided. And hers is basically the same, but in buns, so... Um, we 
could just keep their hair. I think I have very similar hairstyles to that when they age into teens, so I'll probably just keep their same hair. And then they wear pink and red because the whole good evil thing. So I have to remember that. And I do have that other apron dress that Susan has one of them and when or not Wendy Alice wore one. So I might put them in the teenage apron dress. Or I might do a top and a bottom. I'll have to test it on them. Dag, dag. It'll be cute regardless. No, it's not Susan's birthday. I reset her age, don't lie to me, game. There we go. We're gonna have two more teens really quickly here. And soon enough we're gonna have babies again though because we're gonna try to get Wendy out of here, which is why she's working hard on violin. Just takes so long. <laughs> The but it'll be fine. Where's Puppy at? Aw, him's in here. He's with Juniper. Is he laying down? Pet. Let's give him a pet. Let's give him a hug. Let's get to know him. Let's talk to. Um, just keep doing that. That's fine. And then let's make sure he has food and water. He does. We'll go refill it though. Flynn's level four fishing. We're trying to get his fishing up so that he can age up uh, probably a little earlier. Oh. I don't love aging them up earlier, but for the sense of getting more age gaps and more babies in, I don't mind it. Because we've been doing this, what, this is part 24 today, I think? So we've been doing this for almost five weeks and we're 13 kids in, so I, I think we could speed it up a little bit. <laughs> ah, dag, dag. I actually have some people move out early when they have the skill requirement. Obviously, if they don't have the skill requirement, I won't do it because, I mean, that's the challenge part. How is this garden not dead? Do we have a ghost take care of it or something? Oh, he's super tired. Go take a little nap. I'm not sure if anyone's feeling hungry yet, but I'll have her come make them dinner, just in case. Do you guys see this? We have more parts just sitting here. I don't know what it is. It's gotta be the dog. I don't understand. I mean, there's nothing to even repair in this room. Huh. Oh, I never gave them their new money again. I meant to on Monday. Because now it would be 250, 250, 500, 500, 500, 2,000. So 3,000? Wait. Yeah. 3,000, no. 500, yes, three. <laughs> Hold on. 1,000. 2,000, 2,500, there we go. He is a hunter. That's why I was wondering if he does bring those back. That's, that's the only thing I could think of. It has been five weeks. It's probably been like a little bit more than five weeks because some weeks we take a day off. Because in reality, if we streamed it every day of each week, which we do mostly, but there's been like Fridays where we haven't, so it's probably been six, maybe seven weeks. And then obviously the months we took before that, building it here and there. Um, so yeah, 2,500 plus 
And then I don't know what all the soot files are from. I'm still assuming it's Michael, but I really don't know. Because those were here before the dog. The dog just likes to play in them. And they're too difficult to clean up because my sims can't handle it and I can't click and drag them. So we just have a lot of soot around. It's, it's free dust. Go serve spaghetti. Having a really bad time. Oh yeah, she hates fishing. Do you guys think she's enjoying herself? I, I think she loves it. Totally. She looks so happy to be there. <laughs> Hello, Snow Leopard. How are you? Why do you have so much, like, trash in your inventory? And so many different meals. Hello, game? Let me click and drag, game! Game, 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 game. How about now? There we go. How about now? How about now? Thank you. Look at all of his fishies. And we'll just call the cooler a really big fish. Sell those. Alright, that should be fine. I hate clicking and dragging is so slow in this save. And again, it's just, it's a mix of struggles. Part of it's on the game, part of it's on the amount of CC, part of it's the lot size, like... And they all stack on top of each other, and then those little things become so difficult. Wendy, did you ever go make food? Oh, she did. And she went back to violin? Wow, good job. Here, we'll have Susan come call to me. Oh, Susan needs to pee. Susan, where are you? Outside? Whoa, would you- Oh no! The outhouse is broken! Uh oh. Can you come repair that outhouse and then Susan... Try to make it to this outhouse? Now, they should be auto-aging up pretty much back to back very soon. I think what I'll do is have the one age up and then wait a couple sim hours, the other one will age up and then we can cast them at the same time. Pretty sure they basically have like midnight birthdays where one's the day before and one's the day after which does happen with twins um i guess i'll just manually have you guys eat well susan just peed herself so there's that come grab a serving when you're done grab a serving when you're done oh don't put that away Grab a serving, grab a serving. Are you in the basement? Give yourself a pep talk. I have noticed that my sims will use their CC objects, so there must be something weird with them. They will use objects like through the floor, across the room, and it's always the vanity ones. So like, this is a vanity, and you can do everything a mirror can do. And like, Susan would use that sitting at her piano. Oh boy, I thought we were having a baby or something. Susan would use that sitting at her piano, and then Juniper was just using the basements? There must be a table down here that's a vanity? She was like talking through the floor. I don't even know how any of that's possible. Is it one of these? That's a table table. That one is one. I don't understand. Just like I have the glitch of these. Change into towel at the pipe. Change into towel. For a while that was all they would autonomously do is come downstairs and change into a towel. I don't get it. 
That's where CC goes wrong, you know? CC is great until it's not. But then you look at all the good CC in and it's all right again. I'm shocked you're still fishing since you hate it. Like, go. She is in the worst mood ever. Go inside. Or not. Here, let, let me help you. Move your body towards the stairs. Come on, come along. And pick up the spaghetti. Thank you. Now, Evelyn should literally be aging up any minute. For now, go take a shower now. You might as well. And then we'll get everyone in bed, and then we're gonna end up having birthdays like while they're sleeping, probably. The game just, like, doesn't take my inputs either. Like, hello? There we go. There's one. There, there's three. Um, Wendy, come use her bathroom. Then you can go to sleep. Flynn, uh, you should probably use the bathroom. Go to sleep when you're done eating. Evelyn should be on her way up. Is she stuck somewhere? I'm so sick of them getting stuck. <laughs> it makes queuing things a hundred times more difficult. <laughs> and they all get stuck at the same time. Go grab a serving. There we go. All right, Juniper, go eat. They don't go to school, yeah. We do their, like, school. Grab a serving. I'm doing all right, how are you? And then take yourself to bed. Oops, nap, you better nap. And Theodore, you're already, there it is. 11.55 and then I bet her sister will be right after midnight. Evelyn is good. We need to give her something not so great. Um, maybe squeamish, that'd probably go good with her. That'd be fine. And then Evelyn, we've been having her work on creativity a lot. She doesn't paint, but we could have her paint now that she's aged up. Or we could have her do knitting. I haven't had someone like Max knitting yet. I might have you go for knitting. Let's change it up. Oh my, that hairstyle. Madeline should be next. Pregnancy between Mickey and Max. Oh, oh, whoa, I wish Bertha was here. Guys, one of our orphans has finally gotten autonomously married. This is the first time they've done something autonomous. Evie Delgado and Oscar Anderson. They got married. Wow. Oh, I love me some good autonomy. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. You go, Oscar. And Oscar's the one. Remember, Bert was like, yeah, he's just boring. He's the first one that got married on his own. Now have a baby. Yeah, for real. I bet they will, too. Cool. I've been reading them waiting because normally it's just townies and we just read about townies all the time. But finally, that's one of our orphans who had moved out. Fantastic. I'm gonna fast forward. She, yeah, there we go. Let's say her birthday's gonna literally be. It looks like her birthday was about 20 sim minutes apart. Madeline's already evil. We know that she likes to be active. We could give her the active trait. Unless, oh, she could be an evil klepto. That sounds like fun. Madeline, do you want to be really evil? We haven't had somebody just full on evil besides Susan. Public enemy or pranks and mayhem? Public enemy. Really, really mix it up. So they do add to the family tree because it counts Susan as their mom, but because we have love stories, we took that all off. 
otherwise they're technically siblings to the game so then they can't you know get married and stuff so i do cu customly go in and remove their relationships every time now is a theme of children's home for orphans yeah an orphanage yeah for kids hi pup hey baby careful of your eye please gentle gentle scratch gentle Gentle, baby, gentle. Gentle. Hey. That's right on your eyeball. Careful. Careful. She scratches all the hair away from her eyes. Always has. You gotta be careful with your eyeballs. All right, Madeline's gonna be full, full evil. Uh -oh. Um, ignore the face modding uh -huh. on them. I'll fix it. Okay, let's go into cast with them. Excuse me. Um, so I'm gonna dress them basically like they were as kids, just as teens now, and yeah. I really need to just take those out. One thing I would love to do Monzo once my Julia. CC, you know, is organized is like, because I have the realistic baby stuff for toddlers, which you really only ever do if you're going to sit there and pose them. So I don't do that in normal gameplay. So I could take those out, put them in their own folder somewhere else. That way I have them when I want them. And then pose packs. I have tons of pose packs, but they're all like themed. Like some are all dance pose uh -huh. packs. Some are all wedding pose packs. So if I had them out in their own folders and only brought them in when we needed them, it could be pretty nice. Yeah. But I need the organization to do that. All right, let's see what she actually looks like um, without all of this going on. Just gonna, there, there we go. Can we, uh, well, hold on, your eyebrows are distracting. There. Obviously, she needs eyelashes. This is Evelyn. And then her sister. Oh, no. Hold on. I'll get the modding off in a moment. She plucked her eyebrows with sticks. You got it. Uh, let me get you some nice, smooth eyebrows. This is Madeline. Perfect. Okay. Cute. All right, Evelyn is our good twin. So I'm gonna put the same hair on. I think I have it for them, right? Is that similar? This one, this is what she had as a kid. So then like we recognize her. The blue eyeshadow was popping. What's the theme? Um, It's like 1900s, but Mostly like 1917. So World War One time. I need your... These. Ooh, the blonde looks so weird though. These ones would be okay. They're long. But I guess that works. That's technically her hair color. Just looks so funny in Sims. I love playing like time period pieces now. What would you look like if you did just have the brown ones? Oh, those look okay. We'll just give you light brown. That looks good. I say as I have extremely blonde eyelashes IRL. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um, Freckles, freckles. You just had nose ones. Oh, what? I don't even know what that is. Nope, not that one. There you go. You're good. She's cute. Okay, and then let's do just that part on her sister and then we'll dress them. Um, you need... Will these work on you too? We'll do the shorter ones. That works the best. 
And then I think we gave her... Not that, not that. It's in here. Nope, not that one. This one? This one. There's some really light freckles, but just on the nose that she had as a kid. There you go. They look nothing alike because they're not actually twins. We adopted two separate babies because you can't adopt twins and we said they were twins. But they would definitely be fraternal twins. Not identical. And then your hair is the one with buns. Which should be in here too. It's just that with buns. If not, we can do like one of these. Wait, that is it. There we go, perfect. Okay. Now, the dress I was thinking for them, unless I'm doing a two-piece, but this would keep it simple too, is this one. And then they could wear pink and red because that was their colors. You adopted and it was randomized whether you got twins really yeah i i thought they were gonna be like complete opposites but it worked out that they both looked similar i get that up close they don't look alike but it could have been a lot worse it would have been really cute if they were identical somehow um um there's one other dress i want to try on her oh these ones those are cute too. Does that come in red and pink? They all are cute. What are these ones? Oh, I love that one. Dorothy wore this dress. Does this come in red and pink? That's like a mix of both dresses right there. Maybe ah. they'll wear this one. That's so cute. We'll throw some dirt on it so it doesn't look fancy, obviously. Um, here. Whoop. Nope, that's not it. Where'd the dirt go? Hello, Sally. How are you? Well, it's a mix of both of those dresses. It has some ruffles, but also it has the apron, so it's perfect. It was both dresses I was thinking of just combined. Dirt. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. How dirty is that? That's so dirty. We'll do the light dirt. There you go. Throw some dirt on it. That's what I do. I take a fancy time period outfit, throw some dirt on it, no longer fancy perfect. I'm doing pretty good. And then you guys don't have the lace up shoes, but I wish you did. There you go. And then we're just gonna dress them literally the same and they just have one outfit besides pajamas, swim the suit, and cold weather. Ooh, it's the other dress. Wait, what's this one and this one? Oh, this one has a lighter pink. Ooh, we should give that to the other girl. One's just recolored. Um, Take that red i'm gonna change her dress over to the pink that way i can tell them apart better that looks better too perfect here throw some dirt on this one too boom not that much dirt though and then grab your socks and grab your shoes Beautiful. So then they look a lot like they did as kids, just now they're a little bit older. Literally one year, but you know, looks a lot older. <laughs> and oh my. Why you gotta put so many accessories on that I have to take off? Just go like that, there you go. One year, even though it looks like seven. Yeah, it looks like they go from like 10 to 18, basically. Unfortunately. I might try some of those height slider mods. I just hate adding more things like that that 
do really mess with your game more, like animation wise. Just more room for glitches. I hate game glitches. <laughs> it's so annoying. But I love good CC, so it's a struggle. Basically, I just wish they would add um, another life stage to the game. Well, really, we need two. If you want to go real far, we need three. But I want the better babies, so that we have, like, actual babies and, you know... Bigger babies and then toddlers. At the very least, just better babies and then toddlers. And then have the kids be a little younger. And then have preteens and then the teens. My CC is from all over the place. We post it in Discord a lot. We have so many CC channels in Discord. This dress is a mod. Or like, well, it's a CC. Alright, that one doesn't need any dirt. Oh my. Did I make this red or pink? Hold on. And we don't have to kill them, but... I just wish they would add them. <laughs> Preteens would be so good. Because toddlers look like they're, you know, two to three. I'd lean more towards the three, but it depends on what they're doing. It's kind of rough because, like, they can't run very fast at first. So it's kind of supposed to mimic that range right there. The babies appear to be newborns. So we're missing the, like, proper baby phase where they're crawling. That's what I wish we had. And then kids already look like they're 10 or 11. So if they were bumped down to be in between, we got actual preteens that look like they're, you know, 12, 11, right around there. And then get teenagers after that. So that you don't have that abrupt jump from a 5 to an 18 year old. <sighs> and scene. Athletic. Well, that looks really nice on you, but it's not what you wear when sewing. Oh, uh, you're pink. You're pink. Yeah. So we need some extra ones. And then some people say that we need some extra ones in the adults, which I could see. But to be honest, between young adult and adult in this game, there's not much of a change. If they would change the adult to be not an elder, but just an older person. And then, because the elder Ooh. is very abrupt too. It's like all of a sudden they're, you know, extremely old and frail and bent over. So that needs to be like your literal end of life. And there needs to be, the adult should just be moved over to something in between. Because all that's added from young adult to adult is they give them a little more weight. And some wrinkles. And that's about it. You have an umbrella, your water shoes, a hat, you're taking lanterns and flashlights. Do you have all, like, anything you would use for the bathroom? I don't know what you do when you're camping to brush your teeth and such. If Sims could gradually age, I know it'd be so hard with animations, but can you imagine how amazing that would be? <sighs> yes, teens and young adults <laughs> I would like a height change too. That would be nice. Doesn't have to be crazy height change because obviously at some point in your teenagehood you're typically close to your adult height if not already there depending on who you are. But just a little slight difference so I don't look at the household and be like, oh, that's ten adults when, you know, six of them are teenagers. Gotta make them a little... a little funny looking. They're going through stuff. You have a toothbrush and you have sunscreen deodorant. You won't be showering. You shower in the morning and when you get home Sunday. Hmm. Where's the dirt? Here it is. Sleepwear. We're just going to do... This nightgown does not look good on anybody. <laughs> Doesn't matter what shape or size they are. This nightgown just looks bad. I need to delete it. We'll just go with this one. Tried and true. This one's the best one. It looks so nice on them. Uh, get a little dirt. And the cap. Pink. Oh my. Wow. She's quite the fashionista. 
Double nose rings out of nowhere. Nice. <sighs> Shorter teens, please. Trendsetter, go get her, honestly. Grab your boots. Okay, a swimmer. Wow, she just really loves her accessories. If she lived in modern times, man, she'd be fancy. What? It's marked as feminine, isn't it? Wait. Where is the guy swimsuit? I always thought I had one other swimsuit, but it was masculine or something. And it never pops up. Although I might be thinking of kids. I'm not really sure anymore. Just wear this one. That's fine. Um, do the red stripes. You've never been camping? Me neither. They might do a multiplayer. We've seen some stuff about that. But they better not screw up single player. If they do that. Because if they... The problem will be is if they put one... More emphasis of one or the other, one's gonna fail. <laughs> one's gonna flop. Kind of like, you know... GTA, you can play single player and multiplayer, and one's always lacking. Alright, dress. Pink. Ah. Boots. Mm. Dirt. It's very fun as long as you're prepared. Yeah. I just have a issue with bugs, heat, allergies. Like I want to. It sounds nice theoretically. <laughs> but you know, maybe in like a cabin with electricity. I could go without electricity if like it was cooler outside, so I wasn't having a heat stroke. <laughs> I would need some glamping. And you know, some good bug spray. Those candles, citronella, some of those. <laughs> Obviously all gluten-free food. So it just sounds like a struggle. Well, especially at night, like even if it's just <laughs> in, in the mid 70s, it's just too hot. Coat, oh, I don't know what coat to put you guys in. I actually didn't think that far. Maybe these ones? That'd be fine. <laughs> you can have the pink one. Bug spray! There you go. Bug spray. And you don't seem to have ticks over there, so you don't have to worry about any tick remover or anything. You lucky duck. I thought ticks were, like, literally everywhere, but I guess they're not. Ah. Was she wearing makeup in hot weather? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my. I clearly was not looking at her face. And we don't have mittens. I need to get some adult mittens. So wear some gloves, I guess. Oh yeah, a hat. Your smile. Um, here we go. Okay, that looks good. Let me take your makeup off here. I don't know what you put any dirty laundry in or your swimsuit if you're bringing one. Maybe a plastic bag? Hmm, I don't know. I don't go camping. <laughs> Madeline! Alright, let's finish you up. Oh. Well. What? That was weird. Not taking your swimsuit, but laundry bag is a good idea. There you go. 
Alright, she's gonna wear this deep red because it's a whole good versus evil thing, so... Makes sense. Brown... No dirt for that one. Man, they just love their hats. And all the accessories. Mm. Athletic. Put this one on. There you go. Ooh. Too dirty. I mean, I guess in their living situations it probably wouldn't be too dirty, but it just looks like a lot. Especially when they do get low hygiene in the game, it already puts dirt on them. Okay, sleepwear. Does this fit okay? Yeah, good enough for me. Hmm. Nightgown. Perfect. Put a little dirt on it. Easy. Party? Okay, so she's the hat girl and her sister is the accessory girl. Clearly. Red. Couple people taking our visa at the campsite has a bathroom so you won't have to get rugged and pee in the woods. Oh, that sounds a little better. Yeah, camp tenting sounds enticing, but I think I'd do better in like cabin tent or cabin cabin tenting. Cabin hunt hunting, no hunting. Camping! <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay, you're good there. <laughs> Monthly lady things? Those those would be good if you need them. Toilet paper? Are you gonna have toilet paper provided? <laughs> I know you said they have a bathroom, but... Never know. We will put her in the blue. Well, no, she should have red. I guess they can both have red. That's fine. Thankfully, no, you won't need those. Well, that's good. That doesn't sound like fun outside. Hmm. Then... Dress. Red. A blessing. I would not want that and like heat outside. <laughs> Boots, and then this is hot weather, so we'll throw some dirt on it. There uh -huh. you go. And then cold weather, we'll probably give you the same dress. It's a pretty good one. Ooh. There's no red, but we'll just give you the dark color, I guess. Grab these boots. I really wish you could favor items and they would appear at the top, you know? So if you start them, they'd appear at the top either at least in your save, but maybe... Probably just in your save. You wouldn't want your whole game. That'd be really nice. Baby wipes. Yeah, they can be handy for your own bum. <laughs> but yeah, that could be helpful while you're out. Okay. Dirt... Uh, we'll do the heavy dirt for that one. Cabins are hard to get for hard groups. Yeah. They're big groups. Hmm. I can't speak anymore. Gloves? Are those the gloves I gave your sister? I think so. Oh, hi, Streamlabs. Thank you for that follow. Welcome in. A jar for catching bugs. <laughs> Oh no, Kara. That'd be awful. That's tragic right there. Okay, is she wearing red? Because I did screw that up a couple of times. She's all set. And then her sister... You don't have fireflies there? Oh, we do. Although it's really sad when they, uh, um, they hit your car while you're driving in the middle of the night. So then like for a little bit, their glow juice is just glowing on your windshield until, Ooh. like, it goes out. Sad. 
They get squashed. You've seen them on vacations, but you don't have them there. We get them a lot around this time. I don't think I've seen one this year though, but I haven't been outside very much either. Look at all of them. Actually, this is kind of perfect picture here. He looks shy. He looks, I don't know, kind of confident. She's happy because she's the favorite. She's like, mm-hmm, I'm the good one. And she looks evil, perfect. Yeah, I would only catch those bugs too. Although if you want, you can come catch all the earwigs and take them away from my house. That'd be great. Good, evil, good, evil, good, evil. Aw. How do we only have two kids again? No longer a new puppy, but their dog, Basil. Wow. I used to like um, ladybugs and stuff more, but even those freak me out now. Like, not as much. Like, if I see a ladybug crawl across my desk, I wouldn't scream as loud as a giant spider. But, I still don't want them around. <laughs> no thanks. Literally. The bugs do have the whole outside. That's what I say. Because sometimes I do feel bad for killing bugs inside. Even the creepiest ones. Like, even the earwigs. Because I'm like, they're just trying to live their life. But listen, you're not supposed to be in my house. I'm sorry. And then I have to kill them. You like tarantulas and snakes and lizards? <laughs> I don't mind lizards, I guess, but I wouldn't want a wild one running into me or anything. Geckos are pretty cool, but when you get a gecko stuck in your house, like, that's pretty traumatizing, too. Kind of like rodents. I love rodents, like pet rodents, but if a mouse or a rat was in my house, I wouldn't be loving that one. I wouldn't want to kill it, but I wouldn't be loving it. Oh my goodness, yeah. We just have to kill a lot of them. Thomas tries to rescue some bugs, like certain spiders, but... If it's a very scary one, um, one that you can't save, or earwigs, <laughs> they die. Very fast. Snakes walk. Snakes, snakes are okay, but... Again, not when they come up on you and spook you. Yeah, we don't have lizards here. Not like, not like geckos and stuff or anything. But when we've been on vacation in Florida, they're around a lot. You tag teamed it with your cat? Oh my goodness. Our old, old house? Like the one that I did majority of my growing up in through my childhood, we would always have like gardener snakes. And I feel like I remember one was in the garage once. But they would just spook you. You'd be walking across the path like in the yard and then it would go across in front of your feet and scare the crap out of you. <laughs> and then the water snakes because we had a big pond in our backyard. I, I don't like killing bugs either. Like I want someone else to do it but sometimes I have to. I don't like scorpions. I'm glad those are not in Michigan. No thanks. Yeah, and then the garter snakes like are pretty much harmless and they're fine and whatever, but when they spook you, they're not very nice. <laughs> Anything spooking you is scary. It could be a cute dog that comes up and scares the crap out of you. It's still gonna be scary when you're not expecting it. You don't see snakes much? A rattlesnake, that'd be terrifying. See, at least garter snakes, I feel like they don't even bite or anything. I know they're not poisonous at the very least. I almost stepped on him, oh no. <sighs> I used to just run really fast through that part of our yard. Because it was a nice little stone path that went down the hill. But there was a bunch of plants on both sides, so you just kind of had to book it. <laughs> Hope that nothing jumps out at you. It was a good adventure. What? Did she just leave? I swear she was sitting there. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I swear she was over there. Mindy? What? My brain. All right, let me save this. I'm gonna go take a peek at who's, who's streaming. Tomorrow is big party. So you best be here. Um, I'm gonna make an announcement tonight on Discord. 
about it, but the party will be tomorrow. It's my two years on Twitch tomorrow, literally to the day. Tomorrow is the day I started streaming two years ago in my technically brother's bedroom. Weird story, my computer was in there because the house was trying to be sold and he wasn't living there, so I was using his desk. That's where it all started. Weird. So tomorrow we celebrate. Get roadrunners and bunnies in the yard and lizards. We get a lot, like, because we live in town and then we're in Michigan. So we see, obviously, lots of bugs, always. But we will see squirrels and cats, normally neighbors' cats. Sometimes deer come up this far, occasionally. Um, possums, like all those, raccoons, all that good stuff. Nothing too crazy. I used to see more wildlife at my parents' house and then our house before that because we had a forest behind us. What is a road runner? Road runner. No, not the film. Oh, it's like a bird thing? Oh, like the cartoon. Wow, those look crazy. Look at this thing. <laughs> He's looking wild. Meep meep. <laughs> wow. The most things I see, like if I look out my window here, would definitely be squirrels. So many squirrels. And like I said, neighbors, cats, and dogs who they let out of their house and shouldn't, but... That's a funny looking bird. They eat snakes. Wow, how big is it then? They look little. Oh, here's one eating a snake, sorry. It doesn't look that nasty, but there you go. So they're decently large. There's one with a gecko. But they're not huge by any means. Interesting. They look hysterical. I like their little hairdo. Aw, well cute. That'd be pretty funny to look out your window and see that. They're fast and they have a good beak. That's cool. Well, we all learned something. Well, I did. <laughs> I didn't realize what a roadrunner was. Obviously, I've heard the name. And the cartoon once I saw that. Um, let me get Discord in here. Oh, well, my bot just put Discord. Well, there's Discord again. And then tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow's the party. And I'm going to go post more info, but I got to go prep a lot for it. So, it'll be fun. Hopefully I don't have a migraine or anything, because that, that doesn't make parties fun. And then, I don't know who we're raiding yet. I'm going to have to go find somebody, so we can still chat a second while you copy those. Um, those still work. Streamlabs just lost its sub, so you can probably copy it easier, to be honest. Animaniacs? I believe so. They have nests and stuff on the ground. That's crazy. It's crazy that you see them by your house. Let's see here. Um, There's nobody on right now to raid that I'm following. So we're going to follow another or go raid another new person. Let me go find one. I mean, Nick, you can probably guess. But there's new stuff I'm adding to it that we've never done before. So it will be worth the announcement. It'll be fun. It'll be fun fun. There's somebody playing Sims 4 decades. But. It doesn't look like it's in English. And they don't have a camera. And I don't know. You can barely see their game. But I would click them. Um, let me see. You're leaving in the afternoon, so you should get to watch the first putter stream. Yeah, if you're leaving in the afternoon, you'll you'll see the beginning. Winky face. How about... So hard finding new people. Because I have to do it at a glance. Like, I can't watch them first. Who is this person? Let's see. We're going to go spread the love to someone new. Ha! They just raided. I hate when that happens. 
Channel verification level too high on your Discord. What do you mean? What does it say? All right, let me click a different one. It won't let you join. Does it say you're in newcomers? Oh, you're in there. You're in there. You have to react to the uh, rules. It should be the only channel you can see when you join. And then you have to wait 10 minutes to chat. Here, I'll help you out. Let me give you the role. I don't, you might still have to wait the 10 minutes, but you have the role now if it didn't let you click it. I think you still have to wait the 10 minutes to even click it normally. Yeah, you're in the newcomers tab at the very least. I uh, manually gave you the role. So try now. And then whoever joined before you, I gave them the role too because it doesn't look like they reacted. Um, 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 sorry. Finding new people is very difficult, but it's okay. Who's this? What? Where's their chat? Here it is. Oh, they have follower only chat. I hate trying to raid new people. <laughs> it's so difficult. Who's this? They are not at their computer. Okay. Um, going back, going back. <laughs> How about this one? Nada. Going back, going back. You're welcome, you're welcome. I think you literally have to wait 10 minutes to even click react. Um. Ooh, what's this? Alright, I think I found the winner. It Their stream says 18+, plus, so it's probably not family friendly, obviously. So there's your warning now. But otherwise... Looks chill. Okay. I'm ready to raid. Sorry about that. Actually, their name should tell you right away that it's not family friendly. So you have been warned. If you'd like to join in the raid, do so now. We're going to spread some love. I have no idea what they're like. When we go into these raids that are new, it's just, it's a surprise every time. So, uh, hopefully it goes well. But I'll be back tomorrow. Again, I'm going to post an announcement in Discord tonight about the party tomorrow. So make sure you're in there and paying attention. Um... I'll try to get it up in a few hours or so. I gotta go prep some things, but... Hopefully they don't have wicked whims. Well, so far it's only her sim and three cats, so... <laughs> we can hope not. But we'll just go spread some love regardless, and if you want to leave after, you know, that's that's up to you. Alright, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out today for the good chit-chats. Minnie is in here now. She's just... Over there. And tomorrow's gonna be a fun party stream, so I hope to see you there. Until then, I'll be in Discord if you want to chit-chat. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out and for all the support. And let's go raid! Risky raid! Hoo-hoo! But I swear... I'm gonna try and stop them from happening. No! Steph Casey!